Okay, hello? Oh my god, I don't remember who it was that said it. But someone said that, like, the Tess Lane scene from last stream made that like made everybody cry but there i was laughing so there is a good possibility that that's gonna happen again how's everyone doing hi friends hello k hi noodles hi cord final fantasy 14 on my dragon age day i know i know i really wanted to play dragon age today but i knew that i had to get through some more of final fantasy i think i'm gonna save my dragon age trilogy return for next year Hello, Sav Adrian. Been a chill day after capping out Carpenter? Like in Final Fantasy? Like the, the class? Hi, Sarah. Hello. Change the loading screen to Solus immediately. St I should. I should have a Dragon Age version of um, my loading screens, huh? It's really hot in my office. Let me open a window. Oh, my window is open. Mm. Let's see if my ice is done. Maybe I can get myself a nice cold glass of water um we're gonna be diving straight into the game uh, i don't think we're gonna have a long like just chatting section so if i were you i would spend the next like five minutes peeing pooping grabbing a snack whatever it is that you do to, like pre-stream shenanigans yeah cute sweater thank you this is from h&m it caught my eye when i was i was i was buying like i don't even remember what i was buying but I walked past the H&M store downtown, and I was like, ooh, cute. That's a lot for five minutes? I believe in you. All right, I'll be right back. Um, do you want the BRB screen? Fuck it, y'all can just look at my office. I'm back. I'm back. Yep, uh, oh, it's down. I've already peed and pooped. I stay doing that. Oh hell yeah, you're on top of your shit. Literally, I love that for you. I love that for us. I pulled a siren and cried about you know who today. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, and I'm scared to find out what that means. Am I gonna cry? Okay, cause like all of you made me stop the stream where I was like where um like where I left off we've recruited or recruited we found the twins and now we're back at the crystarium I mm, eh, mm, eh, mm, 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 I'm scared I don't know what's coming and I'm scared do we have a mod around hi Reben Pars thank you for lurking do we have any mods here Billy how you doing welcome no we don't have any mods we only have Ray Let's see. Is Kelsey here? Kelsey, do you want to um, temp mod for me? Yes. You know the drill. Just no spoilers, etc, etc, etc. I was leveling um, gun... Is it Gunbreaker? And queued for a level 57 heavy sword done with duty support and orange form was one of the DPS. No! No! Look, as long as I'm not the only one crying about that sweet, delicate baby boy, okay? Hello, Viking. Hello, Rap. Rep off. Rep off. Rep office. Rep office. Oh my God, that reminds me. Chat. Why did that remind me? Okay, no. The emote that Kelsey just put in chat reminded me. Um, we have a new emote. So you know my Syra Lala emote. It's now animated. Stacy and Mo. Well, Stacy made the emote. Mo. Edited it. He animated it, and now and now he do a laugh. Look at him. He giggle. He go. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, the Discord bot worked. It did a little pumpy pump. It pump pump pump. Good. Very good. Look at him. He go. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, let me take my Advil. Hold on. Do y'all have y'all ever seen me take pills before? Because if not, enjoy. Yeah, so, blah, blah, blah. there are many things that I can swallow, but pills are not one of them. <laughs> Thank you for the 32 months, Metazoa. Um, I can't swallow pills properly. Um, my body doesn't let me do it for whatever reason, and so I have to, I break them in my mouth, so they're like in half or in fours, and then I swallow it. When I was younger, what I would do is I would like grind them and like just take them with um uh like pudding or something. Buy a pill splitter. My teeth are the pill splitter. If they're capsule pills, then I I cut them open and I pour them into into pudding as well. <sighs> All right, <laughs> mortar and pestle. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. All right. Okay, I'm going to buy you one and bring it with me next time I'm in, I'm in Toronto. Thank you. I will never use it, but thank you. Okay, are we ready? I can't swallow pills normally, no. My body just, like, rejects it. I don't know what it is about the sensation. I just, like, don't like it. Oh, I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. It's not coming, but I can feel it. Kind of screwed up the title, but <gasps> no one can post links unless they're a mod, unfortunately. Gun, what is that? What it? Send it to send it to Kelsey. No, it's okay. The reason why. Oh, you know what? Let me like say this because I don't think many people know this. The reason why um, links aren't allowed in the chat is because um, I can permit do that. Um, is because uh, sometimes I get trolled by people who like to post very inappropriate things. Um, and it's embarrassing. And it's uncomfortable. And it's very triggering. Uh, so links are not allowed unless you're a mod. What well, Sarah can swallow? Girl! <laughs> yeah, so... There are many things that I can swallow, but pills are not one of them. <laughs> Look, I, I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I did nary a lie. Maybe I should never mention- No, you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Okay. I'm just getting um, my uh, my stream and stuff ready. Are the captions on chat? Can you see them? You hold a mouthful of water and then put the pill in. So you just put like a little, you make a pool in your mouth and you go, <laughs> doesn't the water like spill out? God, and I'm the fucking weirdo. Mr. Dell, for three months. They're on? Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Grinch. Hey, look at this lighting. Mm. Okay. Y'all ready? You ready? I too pull liquid in my mouth first. What? You know what? I just swallow the pill, no water, then I drink water. Like a fucking snack. I keep my lip sealed like a fucking adult. Okay, fair. Sableye? Sableye's best boy. I'll say, Lax, what's up? Yeah, look at, look at my little guy. I don't know if we have any of the Sableye emotes in... 
in um in here. But I know I have the Gengar ones at the very least. Gengar is goaded, I know, right? Little guy, he's just a little sable guy. He's just a little sable guy. Choo choo, thank you for the biddies, satisfied, I appreciate it. Fun Final Fantasy Force. Fun Final Fantasy fourteen related fact: Amanalene's voice actor is also a lawyer. That for some reason I find that very ironic. I love that so much. Have you watched the Pokemon Journeys? No, what's that? What's Pokemon Journeys? Oh man, I feel like I should be wearing a T-shirt. My office is so like warm. My home is so warm for some reason, and I don't have the heat on. At least I don't think I have the heat on. Which Pokemon should I name after you and Scarlet? Gengar or Sableye? Sableye. Go change if you're hot. I'll still be hot if I change. Uh, let me just double check my AC. Do I change? Oh, it's a new version of Pokemon? Is it like the, the, with like the new animation and stuff? Okay, you know what? I am gonna go get out of this sweater. It's really cute, but eh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just put on like a lighter sweater. It gave us the Pokemon characters and it personally, and the personality that the OG didn't, I really enjoyed them. But okay, I'll have to check it out. I miss watching Pokemon, dude. Like I had a phase where I rewatched um, Pokemon Advance Battle or whatever it was called. Oh my god, is that a Claire? No shot Claire is in here. Is Claire actually- Hello? Sorry, I changed from winter sweater to fall sweater. Exactly. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to be comfy cozy, alright? Okay. Claire? You do a smile. Okay. Are you ready? Chat, are you ready? I was in a daze watching news like a middle-aged mom. Who the f- Okay, so what the fuck? The streaming note of save me? <laughs> All right, now you can cry with us. Ready? We're ready? All right, ready check. We're doing a ready check, chat. We're doing a ready check. All right. Oh, I fucked up my hair. Oh my god, I should make a ready check command. <gasps> I should make a ready check command! That'd be fucking cute! Okay. I'm not even gonna bother pinning that. I'm gonna take off some of these rings. Hi, Fennis. Okay. Alright. Oh, uh, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I don't know why. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, here we go. Alright. All right, all right, Crystal Exarch. Oh, how's the volume? Should I turn it up a little bit more? Uh, what? Hello? Uh. Okay, that was kind of weird. 
I'm, I think I should turn up a little bit. Is this better? How does it... Does it sound better now? Is it more clear? Is it a little bit louder? I hope so. I think we're good. Okay, let me know if I need to if I need to change anything. This is good? Perf. Ha, ready check. Who made that poll? <laughs> 10 out of 10. All right, the Crystal Exarch. Exarch. Welcomes you back to the Crystarium. Here we go. And so you return. I do. I'm back, babe. Have you gained a better understanding of the crisis now faced by the first? Yes, the Sin Eaters are fucking whack. Better is not the word I would use. Some lands may have been spared the flood, but the survivors live only to suffer. There seems no end to the horrors inflicted by the Sin Eaters. Indeed. Those abominations are a calamity in their own right. And I can well imagine how hopeless the task of eradicating them must seem to you. But after countless battles and untold sacrifice, we have identified a potential weakness. Sin Eaters are drawn to serve the strongest of their kind, a class of creature we call Light Wardens. Light Wardens. And from what we have been able to ascertain, only a handful of these entities exist. Would striking those down first be beneficial? Just as an ant colony will perish in the absence of its queen, we believe that the death of a Light Warden will cause the lesser creatures within its sphere of influence to disperse. I have a feeling Yulmo might have something to say about any concerted action we take against these monsters. Vorthra's command over the Sin Eaters is integral to Yulmoran society. In seeming to guarantee his people's safety, it guarantees their obedience. Oh, I can't wait. I hope I he fight that guy. I hope I kill him. him I hate him. Allies. Agreed. Thus we will need to occupy or otherwise divert his forces whilst we proceed with the business of eliminating the Wardens. Until we have done so, all other considerations must be set aside if we are to forestall the Eighth Umbral Calamity. <laughs> Are you sure that eliminating the wardens will be enough? I'm not sure I follow. Um, I mean, I do follow. If I ask that, I feel like I'll get more clear, like clarity. I don't feel like either way I'll get a similar res response. I don't know. Hello, this voice acting is excellent. Oh my God, I know. Claire, the voice acting in this game gets so much better when you pass a Realm Reborn. Girl, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. They recasted like so many people and like they just like the actors just start feeling the characters a little bit better. It's oh my gosh. Hi, Carissa. Hello. How are you? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. Your uncertainty is understandable, given the circumstances. Perhaps a more detailed explanation is in order. To begin at the beginning, then. <gasps> in the ancient past, a single star was divided into 14 worlds. This is the source, your home. These others are the 13 shards, in whose number we find the first. Though physically separate, they retain a connection to each other and with the source especially. I'm so glad I'm getting an explanation for now, this. <laughs> let us assume that a given element in one of the shards attains abnormal ascendancy. Just as water will flow from the highest point to the lowest, the excess energy will begin trickling into the source. And such an influx of ether will of course exert a palpable influence. Science! If the element in question were fire, then drought and wildfires might ensue, 
If it were ice, one might expect the weather to turn bitterly cold. As ether continues to pour in, such phenomena will become more and more extreme, until eventually, a single, untimely event triggers a disaster which cracks the barrier dividing the two worlds. What was once a trickle now becomes a deluge, sweeping the shard along to be rejoined with the source. At the same time, the element which held sway in the shard is unleashed in full, its energies amplifying the original disaster to truly catastrophic proportions. An earthquake thus magnified might strike with enough force to shatter continents. A tidal wave might swell to a size capable of drowning entire nations. These devastating events are what we refer to as umbral calamities. Seven times has a calamity befallen the source. Seven times has a shard been absorbed. This is such a nice explanation because like I under I understand this, but I feel like it's never been explained in like a very simple way for me to understand. Do you know what I mean? So now that I'm getting like a visual with it, it's like, you know, that like I'm connecting the dots. Everything is making everything is making sense. It's so useful. It's so good. It's so good. Yes, Claire. Uh, she goes humana 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 humana. She literally just speaks like an animal. She speaks animalese. <laughs> At present, the light drowned realm of the first stands perilously close to meeting the conditions for a rejoining. It is the Sin Eaters who are to blame for the light's continued dominance. In addition to attracting their lesser kin, the light wardens I mentioned earlier radiate ether, saturating every corner of their territory with light. Aren't they like attracted to people Even here with... in the flood spared region of Norvrant, oh, no. their was influence it? is strong enough to banish night remember. from the sky. They feed Thus, off of ether, if we right? If restore Something balance like to the first and head off a potential calamity, it is imperative that we put each and every light warden to the sword. To the sword! We've been doing our best All right, to Mr. take Bridgerton. the fight to the enemy ever since we first heard the Exarch's explanation. Though we have yet to claim any meaningful victories, if truth be told. Hmm. Apart from being confoundingly elusive, the Light Wardens possess a troublesome quality which compelled us to delay our plans until such time as you arrived. <laughs> so are Light Wardens like the primals here? Do you know what I mean? Like the big bosses and shit? Was it like that lion thing? Oh! Forgive the my wife. My lord, but Holminster Switch is requesting reinforcements. I can't unhear Saifa. I know it's not her voice actor, but oh my god. They say the Sin Eaters are attacking <laughs> and the village could soon be overrun. Oh shit. Alert the guard. We should be prepared in case the fighting reaches the Crystarium. You have command of our forces in the field, Captain, but hold off on entering the town until I arrive. That goes for Alphano and Alize as well. My lord. Goodbye. I pray Henry, I see you again. Lend us oh. your strength. <laughs> Such a fight will provide you with far greater insight than any explanation I could offer. I'm excited. I'm excited, 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 Mm. I'm so glad that you're catching on too and just being fully into the story the more it goes on. Yeah, my problem with this game was that the storytelling wasn't that strong at the beginning. You know, I like, I really enjoyed it, but I don't know. A lot of things were just dialogue that I would have to read, like a lot of important things. Um, and so I would just, I would lose it, you know? Um, you know the most interesting, the way they explain things, it feels like they've had this plan since ARR, but the explanation and lore you're hearing were only really flush just a bit before Shadowbringer's development, which just amplifies my respect for the writers. 
Wait, the way they explain things feels like they've had this planned. What do you mean had this plan? Oh, um, I mean probably right. They probably had the whole narrative like planned ahead of time, but you know, throughout the years they chip away, they they change things and make it work, and then poof, right? Because have is haven't you guys been? I say you guys, but haven't? Or don't they release like a new X pack every two years? You can't just make a whole thing in two years, you know? I want the quest accepted music to play every time I put something in my Google Calendar. <laughs> Girl, honestly, the what I love too, it's a very like, not even like a small detail, but every X pack has its own like um, quest acceptance and like completion sound, which is really cool. I like it. They really linked back to Crystal Tower because they wanted to make it important. Yeah, and I like that. I really like that they're taking things that we already know and fleshing them out, like you, like uh, like Sarnik said. Um, because, you know, no shade to the Crystal Tower, but I did the raids, and then the only time I ever, like, came back to them were during my dailies. And it felt insignificant considering how much of my time I spent doing those missions, right? So it's really cool to see the writers go back into those, like, those areas and, like, pick out things and then, you know, create more stories with them. Like, they're not just lost. It's not just something that you do in one X-Pack. Like, no, 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 they're reoccurring. They'll come back. They didn't have a plan. Oh, they didn't have a plan. Oh, really? Oh, so they really literally just went back and were like, we're taking that, we're taking that. They also recommend doing the Omega Raids before you get to Endwalker. Do they? Is that- do I- the Omega Raids? Bet. Well, it's a good thing I have an army with me. Alright. Holminster Switch is the north of Lake- is in the north of Lakeland, so we had best make haste with our preparations. In fact, meet me outside the Crystarium at the crossroads northwest of the Ancestors- a sensor, a sensor, a sensor gate, and I shall be there myself. Sounds good. Okay, can I just like TP? Oh, well, well, nope. All right. Well, I mean, I guess I could TP out of here. And coils. Oh yeah, I do have to do coils. What I, I think, I think I said this on stream. I'm not sure if I did. But before I get into, I know I wanted to do it for Shadowbringers, but I changed my mind. Um, I think for, before Endwalker, I'm gonna take some time to really like, go through the side content in this game. And, um, and then like, like catch myself up with the things that I've missed, you know? Oh, I fucking love this area. Look at this. This is so beautiful. I still, I just, oh, speechless. Absolutely speechless. All the purple, it's gorgeous. Okay, there's an etherite all the way up there. I'm gonna go see if I can grab that. Just teepee covered in toilet paper. <laughs> They didn't have it all planned out by a long shot. They had a rough idea at best. That makes sense. But their plans between a realm and born in early days to pre shadowbringers is vastly. Oh. But yeah, difference in success successes and budgeting the team. I do think. Um, I do think that because their budget went up, they now can elaborate and do so much more, which I love to see. Chat, I won. Claire just sent me a text. Claire, I'm fucking exposing you. Guess who's booting back up Final Fantasy XIV? Guess who's playing Final Fantasy XIV? Coriander Clarison is back! Let's go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Claire really said purple? <laughs> Now we all know her shame. Now we know her shame. One of us, one of us, one of us, one of us. Claire, look, we're here for you. 
once you get that sub, we will do all the trials with you, all the dungeons with you. We will grind with you. Okay? We got you. We will hold your hand. We will give you food. And we will dance around you while you craft and cook. <laughs> Hi, Peter. Oh, yes, Drew just started. Baby twinsies. Oh, join Sarnix's party. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like that you're making me party up with you. Every time y'all like preemptively make me party with y'all, I expect pain. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ent. I just wanted to kill you. You looked really satisfying. Just chilling there. Bitch, invite me? Where where are you? I don't know where I don't know where you are! You guys are gonna have to be she said no pickles with me. <laughs> She said, no pickles. We got you. We got you. I'm on your friends list. Oh, I'm not part. I'm not party leader, though. It's Sarn. OK. Now I'm party leader. Where you at? Where you at? Where's Hanako? All right, let me attune. God, this place is beautiful. Also, oh, Sir Borger? Hello, Sir Borger? Hello, oh, what you giving me? Yo, do you want some weed? Hold on, I got you. Here, I give you five weed. <gasps> 10? You give me 10 burgers? Okay, maybe I give you more weed. Maybe, maybe, maybe I give you more weed. Here, I give you, I give you ten, ten weeds. And piss? I'm, I'm so spoiled. I'm getting so spoiled. Hell yeah. Thank you for the piss. I will drink some pee right now. Where is the piss? Wait, was that the piss? Was that what you gave me? Was that what you gave me? No, you gave me- Oh. oh. Your piss is- You're a little- it's, It looks like you're a little dehydrated. Your piss is a little- A little orange, a little saturated. Um, if I were you, I would drink more water. Uh, stay hydrated. Um, yeah. Thank you! Alright, where am I going? I'm going this way. Oh, I'll go this way. Psych. Sire, I can always get you more weed to sell. Always. Thank you. Thank you. I love that you're my little supplier. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this game. Uh, this game. So what I have noticed, um, I don't think it's like that dramatic. I'm wondering if it's just a setting. Um, I can't quite tell if the quality has improved, but the colors are so much nicer now. Like, it, it, the game is so vibrant and beautiful it's nothing like the way it was when i was playing like a realm reborn it's gorgeous and it's so much more like rich i honestly i can't i can't really notice too much of a difference in like certain things apart from now there being a little bit more facial texture on some of the characters it's not like great but you know this is when they dropped the PS3 X pack. That's what I've been told. Twitch's bitrate does not like foliage. Is the stream okay? I asked her that so you would answer. Wait, what? Hi, Alvin. Okay. Oh, I passed him. <laughs> okay. All set. If we follow this road north, we will arrive at the northern staging point. The village itself lies not far beyond. Quickly now. Bet. Wait. Oh, we're going all the way up there? For a second I was gonna see if you wanted me to go to Fort Job. The, lo the more... The more that I look at this, the more that I think it says Foot Job. Am I wrong? 
Oh my god! What job? Well... I didn't even- I didn't even like take in that's where I just was. Um, I'm gonna start putting the map here so y'all can see it. Not that y'all need to look at that map at all, but... We are in sync here? Oh my god, you and I are in sync? Our brains? On that foot job mindset? People call it foot job for a long- very, very long time? Good. As they should. Wait, who's Sir Borger? Sir Borger, are you in chat? Where's my Borger King? <laughs> Why aren't I on my chocobo? <laughs> You're in sync? Yeah. Can't you tell by my, uh, my noodle hair? Okay. All right. We're making progress. Look at these guys! Yada Vio? Oh, eat the current! Hell yeah. Everything, it literally looks like someone was toggling with the hue and just made everything purple and yellow. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it feels like. Not that it's a bad thing. Who's behind me? Who's, who's behind, who's ahead of me? I can't, I don't know. I can't see anybody. I know there's somebody there. I don't know where they are though. Am I the only one crunching around? I think I'm the only one crunching around. I in a mod, Vlad for mod, only in the server. Only in the server, not Vlad is just a VIP. He's a cool kid. Okay, so the fact that Sarnix, Fosk, and CJ are in a party with me, it's got me thinking that maybe there's a dungeon coming up. <laughs> Can you believe it? My Dark Knight's at level 88. I am inching closer and closer towards level 90. I'm so stoked. Alright. See what's happening here. Holminster switches past these gates and through the woods. It's not exactly a near neighbor to the Crystarium, but as we occupy the same region, we have built up something of a cooperative relationship. What can we expect inside, Captain? The town is beset by a swarm unlike any we have seen in recent years. We did our best to evacuate the villagers, but as many as half remain. Judging by the number of e eaters present, we have good reason to believe that a light warden leads the attack. How convenient. It seems we'll have our chance to slay a warden sooner than we expected. One does not simply slay a warden. Has no one told you what happens if you defeat one of those fiends? They hold more light inside them than all of their underlings put together. It could be struck down, aye, but its essence won't dissipate like the weaker kind. What? Vile ether will billow outwards and envelop the nearest living being. Oh shit! A reckless young swordswoman, perhaps, and turn her into a brand new ward and what? So then what do we do? Ah, well, you can leave that particular quandary to us. I must ask that the guards stand down and allow us to engage this leader of eaters alone. Concentrate on the survivors. We must save every life we can. But what if... Understood, my lord. As captain of the guard, however, I will not watch you brave such danger without an escort from our ranks. I insist that I go with you. Very well. And then our warden slaying party shall include myself, the Levias, Captain Lena, and last but not least, me, Beber. <laughs> A formidable group indeed. Into Holminster we go. Once we reach the light warden, do not hold back. We strike to kill. But if we strike to kill, what happens to us? The instance dungeons encountered in subsequent main scenario quests can be completed solo alongside a supporting part of party of NPCs. To make use of this feature, simply speak with one of your NPC companions near the entrance to the instance 
and select the option to form a party. Oh! Alternately, you can select duty support under duty from the main menu or interact with the instance entrance itself. When forming a party, you will need to follow the same role, role restrictions imposed when using the duty finder. Alternatively, you can find party members. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I know how to do this. <laughs> That's cool, though! I can, like, talk to them to, like, go forward? That's kind of neat. Hold on. What's the dialogue like? Oh, small talk. Let's see. As you may have deduced, the troublesome quality of the wardens, which I endeavored to raise earlier, was this confounded capacity for spontaneous rebirth. But the exerker seems confident as he it seems confident he has matters in hands, so I shall trust that we may slay our foe without fear of the etheric aftermath. My restorative spells are at your disposal. There's a part of me that wishes I was going in with the NPCs for like you know, story purposes, but we ball. We ball. All right. Oh. You ready? <sighs> I was happy doing this one on a trust system for story reasons, but AI is still AI. True. Can't trust AI. But also, narratively, that's fun. Okay. You can if you want to go with NPCs. No, 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 I'm good. I'm a brain dead tank. There is no way I'm going in with NPCs. <laughs> oh my god. Look at all them curled up! Oh, this, this place is beautiful. Are you kidding me? Okay. <gasps> this is so pretty! Oh lord. Oh god. No! It's a bail! Oh, is he gonna transform in front of me? <gasps> oh! That's so sick! Wait, can I pull? Can I, can I pull? Can I pull him? Or should we, should we just, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'll stop right here. turn into like those like elongated humanly creatures they just kind of turn pasty white oh oh are you kidding me so i could have pulled it all the way up here okay okay wait is sarnix talking shit about my tanking bro i'm right here go to your fucking dms ayo don't use party chat! What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm not playing with you anymore. Okay. How far can I go? God, this dungeon is so pretty! The vibes? I know it's like ominously deadly but it's so great oh my god i did not like that sound effect that I didn't though it's fine it's fine we're fine it's okay we go again we go again we go again wait did they respawn yet that went downhill quickly I know that went downhill so fast where where is she 
Is she coming back? There she is. Come hither. Come hither. Come hither. Okay. Oh, there was a little stream. Look at the fog. Look at this. I know it's like a single like path, but oh, I wish I could explore. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could just explore the actual game. It's Sarnix's fault? True. Blame Sarnix. It's Sarnix's fault. It's always Sarnix's fault. Always. Look at their bums! Okay. 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 Okay, come here, come here, come here, little spiders. Am I missing one? I am missing one. Run out. Did I use it too soon? Did I use it too soon? Yeah. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. I can't even see. Oh, there it is. Oh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> she do a descend. She do a descend. Ah. Uh, oh, I don't have my thing. That's fine. I thought I had my, uh, my lunch. <laughs> ah! Hello? What, what are these? What are these? Ah! I guess we were safe there. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay. Some of my balls. <laughs> I guess technically I don't need to use that because I'm right there. Oh, 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 oh. Healer, exactly. Exactly. That's the right mentality. <gasps> the civilians! Oh, oh, look at the farm! Oh no! I too am a switch gremlin. Oh my god, all the dead bodies? Oh. 
Are they gonna turn? Are they not gonna turn? Can I, can I, do I, no? Okay, I guess it's gonna stop. Ah! Charging in. He looks like he wants to charge in. Is he gonna charge in? Is he gonna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that Tesleen? Is that Tesleen? That looks like Tesleen. <gasps> it is! Oh! oh! I knew I'd have to fight her at some point. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Are they called a forgiven because it's like, it's not their choice to be this way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in a forgive these demons, you know what I mean? Like, that kind of thing. I feel like that kind of checks out. I should make sure in the forest when Bessie's streaming. Um, you didn't message me today. That's on you. That's on you, bestie. Oh. Oh. Why are you eating me? Why are you eating us? What did we do? I mean, you care just to avoid this. Girl, you don't need to make a new character. If you progress in the story and you change your home point, um, you never have to go back to Limsa Limsa. That's what I did. So I, like, never go there unless the story is like, you need to go here. Tesleen, your titties were so nice. Bye, bestie. What? What? What's going on? Did I miss something? Oh, thank God, I'm packing my bags. Goodbye, Limsa. You were not easy to navigate. No, yeah, Limsa Lamensa sucks, and Limsa Lamensa is also in ridiculously horny for no reason. The 
That wasn't the final boss? I know it wasn't! I can see that! I have the thing up there! We're not done! Also, there's no way that would be the final boss either. That was so- she was so small! Okay. Are all these guys gonna pop up? Is, 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 are they all gonna pop up? No? Not all of them? No? Some of them are gonna stay hibernating? I'm just pointing it out in case. Thanks, babes. Hi, Gooch. What's up, Gucci? Yeah, they're all like, they're all called like the forgiven stuff. So is it, is it like what I, what I asked earlier? Like, is it because, you know, like, forgive them for their behavior, it's not their choice, like that kind of ordeal? Is it one of those? Kinda? They're guilty of the- Oh! Oh, that's kind of- that's, that's sad, actually! Oh, okay. Yeah, you're a fucking coward, bro. Look at all these cowards. Pathetic. Pathetic. Forgiven gamer. <laughs> ISVB, what's up? But this looks fun. I'm telling you, you should start playing this game. We'll help you out. Does not have pop that, but that's okay. Actually, no, we're fine. Once I get bored of the Overwatch new season, give it a week, I'm in. Say less. Say less, dude. Don't do it, you'll never escape! That's exactly why you should do it. Don't listen to Claire. Don't listen to Claire! <laughs> the title is actually Foreskin. Oh. You know what? That makes more sense. Somehow, that just makes more sense to me. Many months of watching everyone's favorite chaotic goblin girl with a penchant for cute cat girls and elf boys will break her heart. Love you, Sarah. Thank you, Dennis, for the 13 months. I appreciate you, buddy. How you doing? Mm. Is it gonna be a big lion boy? Oh. It's venom. But like bleached. If someone put venom in like a tub of bleach and then pulled them out with tongs, that's who I'd be fighting. Or like Gwen, Gwenum, or whatever. <laughs> All right, what does this guy do? What does that do? What does that mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? Uh, uh, ah! Oh, he he hopping around? The little guy just hopping around? He's just having a hoppy doppy time? He's just having a fun dandy time? Oh, wrong button. Is he 
suck an ether? To do a suck? Oh. That is a big A. Oh. Oh god. Wow, thank you. Can you stop hammering me? It's a little mean. Um, sir? Sir? I'm not even gonna try rotating him again. Follow me? Follow, 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 follow Sarnix? Why follow Sarnix? Why? So he can hunt me again? What do you mean not yet? Now? What do you- Sir! 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 I hate it here. I hate it here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Daddy chill. Daddy chill. Why are you on a rampage, honey? We can talk about it. Let's talk about it. What's wrong? Who hurt you? Who hurt you, babes? This is me when I don't get my uppies. Is he done? Is your tantrum over? Ah! Oh. Well. 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 We're done. I've been ginned. <laughs> What do you mean you've been chinned? You've been robbed? Oh, you got chained. <laughs> Don't kill me. I got chained down. He almost pounded me. Yeah, that's a fun feeling. Considering those chains, I think he was mad he wasn't getting hurt enough. Ooh, you may be onto something. You may be onto something. Uh, welcome to dungeon mechanics you've been ignoring. What? Dungeon mechanics I've been ignoring? You mean the thingy when he locks on me? I've never seen that before. What do you mean? I feel like Annie Venom would be against Cuddles Antidote. Ah, so he's also the healer of, of, of poison, huh? Notice how your character reacts when the last boss is beat, by the way? Yeah, I saw that. She didn't look too happy about it. She did not look too happy about it. Yeah, sometimes like we'll beat a boss and she's like, "Woo!" And sometimes she's like, mm. "I like that pose." It's releasing its ether. Fall back. We cannot let it touch us. Quickly, my lord, we must oh. withdraw. Oh, is something gonna happen to her? Is something gonna happen to me? That will not be necessary, Captain. Though I appreciate your concern, the eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place, born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. But now we have a way to contain that corruption. Why is he looking at me? What does he mean by that? The blessing of light. And the hero who wields it now stands before you. Am I gonna sucky sucky? Is it like when I would kill primals and I'd get like a little crystal? Am I gonna suck the ether out of all these demons? Demons, light wardens, whatever. Wow, into my boobies. My breasts. 
are enveloping ether. They're breasting more boobily as we speak. Amazing. How am I just so accepting of this? It's like, yes, this is what I must do. Yup, hand up to God. Yup, yup, it's in my code. I just know to do that. <gasps> Behold, the monster's power is broken, and the world twisted by its touch returns to its rightful form. Yeah, me too! <laughs> Same! <gasps> oh my god, I'm like Moses, but for the sky. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool! Look at the sky. Oh, this is so, aw. This is too good to be true. This is too PMA. It's too PMA. Look at the happy little kids. I did it. Night has been restored. You can actually sleep now. You don't have to close your curtains at night. What's happening? Are they going to be mad at me? It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. The sunless sea. I parted the sunless sea. The warrior of darkness has come. True, in this world, I, I knew that though. In this world, I'd be, I'm considered the warrior of darkness, right? And the warrior of light's the bad person. Ah, right, right. Because, yeah, okay. The math is mathing. I'm connecting the dots. I'm connecting the stars. I've made a is constellation. What I think it is? The night sky. As it should be. Who are you people? You killed a warden, then bathed in its ether as if it were a spring shower, and now the sky? The legends are true. I am the chosen one. I am God incarnate. Reincarnate. <laughs> My lord? You no, know, I do like it. How many years have I waited for this moment? When people get on their knees for me. For the one possessed of her blessing. For you. Stop, you're gonna make me blush. You have vanquished the Light Warden of Lakeland. And for the first time in a century, darkness has returned to the mantle of night. You're welcome. Without the ever-present light to sustain them, the Sin Eaters will have no choice but to retreat. Yet our True. victory is far from complete. Though darkness has fallen here, the other Wardens yet bask beneath burning skies, feasting upon what little life remains. Even should it cost me all I have, I would see each and every one of them slain that this world might be spared from oblivion. Anthony Bridgerton, I do not like that foreshadowing. I do not like that not foreshadowing. For the first, but for the source as well. Save one, and we save the other. Yeah! But, be that as it may, I concede it was wrong of me to summon you to this fight against your will. I swear on my life, I will one day atone for that deed. But for the present? Sir. I beg you, stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the Wardens and restore darkness to the first. I got you, Mr. Bridgerton, I got you! Aardvark! Aardvark! Aardvark is watching me! What do you want? No! Why are you- Why are you making me pick a voice line when Aardvark is right there? He's just watching me! Like, is this bitch gonna say anything? Okay, um, it'll become the worry you need. It sounds like a glorious adventure. It seems like I have no choice but to fight. I will become the warrior you need. 
On behalf of the first, I offer you my deepest thanks. I understand there is much at stake here, Exarch, but why do you risk yourself so readily? It must have been a dangerous drain on your ether to summon even one person across the rift. I do it for my people, of course. To give the Crystarium the tomorrow it deserves. That is true now, yes, but the city had yet to be built when you first called forth the Crystal Tower. I'm simply curious to know what prompted you to commit yourself so completely to this particular course. Take off your hood. Take off your hood. Reveal your identity! Things which we can ill afford to lose. And... I sensed from the first that I had a part to play in preserving them. <laughs> Forgive me. I fear the events of the day may have taken their toll. Despite appearances, I am an old man. One burdened with many difficult memories, some too painful to recall. Well then, I'm sorry for pressing you. It's a family failing, I'm afraid. One which has served us well more often than not. Needless to say, we will continue to fight at your side until the last Sin Eater is defeated. Come then, my warriors of darkness. Let us gather the surviving villagers and make our way back to the Crystarium. I love that the Crystarium is like just one mass of like... Refuge, you know? Wait, what about Ardvark? Uh, but our, I left our boy Ardvark hanging. <laughs> I left Ardvark hanging. Well, how quickly you justified my faith in you. So many lives saved, and the sky itself heralds your success. A single victory in a larger struggle, perhaps, but a momentous one nonetheless. Thank you for the XP. Aardvark, no! I know. <laughs> Poor Mr. Aardvark. Now, as for how we proceed from here... Oh, the music. <gasps> Dentist, thank you for the 10. Gifted. The villagers we evacuated earlier have arrived safely in the Crystarium. Already? They seem to be accepting the situation for the moment. Most folk are far too distracted by the sky to worry about wounds or lost homes. That's a good thing. They whisper and wonder if the, war if the warrior of darkness has come. This is to be expected. Pepper, I must ask a favor of you. Would you be so kind as to conceal your involvement in this endeavor for the time being? Bro! Seeing the light recede from Lakeland is a momentous occasion, and many will be swept up in a maelstrom of excitement and confusion. Did you come forth as a legendary warrior of darkness? I fear that, no matter how good your attention, such an appearance would throw the city into disarray. I find myself in agreement with Exarch, although my concerns are, f are more focused on Yulmor. Mm. It may be best if you maintain a low profile until we see how Voth responds to all of this. Okay, now you're making sense to me. All right. That's a good idea, Pepper! Don't disagree with them! Mm. She'd go, mm. My thanks. Though we cannot freely celebrate your success, pray allow your heart to be buoyed, buoyed, right? By the joy of our citizens. A joy you surely brought into being. Ah, and I must ask the same discretion of you, Captain. It is my intention to share with our people the tale of a great warrior who stood in defiance of the Sin Eaters. This unnamed champion defeated the Light Warden and has since departed for parts unknown, yes? As you wish, my lord. Your penchant for mystery is nothing new, and I will encourage folk not to question this either. Although I expect to be told the whole truth of it one day, about all of you. Unless you die before that can happen. With that settled, I shall return to the Crystarium and make an address to the people. These explanations and adjustments will consume much of my time, so pray take the opportunity to rest and recover from your exploits. And to think, you'll not even need to shut out the windows to enjoy a dark and peaceful night's sleep. That's what I was saying, babes! That's what I was saying! They don't gotta worry about the curtains anymore! They can just sleep! They can snooze! Oh, I love this for them. 
Unless that confounded aardvark comes into my room and brightens up the place. I must stay behind and coordinate the evacuation of the remaining survivors. And I hesitate to ask after all you've done here today, but could I ask you to pass on a message on your way to the pendants? Please let Bragi know we're in a number of injured. Oh, we're bringing in a number of injured, and that any restoratives in the markets need to be reserved for the inf infirmary. I got you, babes. <sighs> we should start making our way back to the Crystarium. slowly, mind you. I wouldn't. It wouldn't do to arrive too soon after the Exarch. I'm staying behind as well. I. There's something I need to check in, to check on in Holminster. <gasps> She's gonna go look for, for Tesleen! We already went through the village top to bottom, Alize. We should all take the chance to rest, you included. I knew one of those ears, and I can't just, can't rest. Not now. So please, I wish to be left alone for a while, and that means you as well, Pepper. I shall be cross if you try to follow me. Oh, I don't want to hurt your feelings, Ali, say. I promise to find you later, when I feel myself again. Okay. Just be careful, please! I don't want to lose you again! <laughs> hmm, just you and me then, shall we? Let's go, buddy. Quest accepted? Oh, right. <laughs> right, I forget. <laughs> My bad. Alright, so where am I going? Speaking of Alphine and the Crystarium? Oh, I could just, like... TP then, right? Yeah. <gasps> oh! This quest is called The Warrior of Darkness? I like it, I like it, I do, I do. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, wow. All right, okay. Where am I speaking to him? Is he over here? Oh, he's over there, yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Loop Guru. Seriously, they built a city without any thought to streetlights. I know, they're gonna have to make a lot of changes, huh? I mean, I guess the Crystal Tower illuminates this whole place, right? That's me! That's me! I'm the boy of darkness! If you get a chance, I was just doing the trust with NPCs. The NPCs have some little tidbits of dialogue in them. I'll do that at some point. I do want to go through, after I did um, the vault with NPCs, I really want to check out um, some of the other dungeons with NPCs. That definitely seems like a fun one to do. I would love to hear Ali's a before and after Tesleen. Um, yeah, no, I definitely will. Not for stream, though. Like, I'll just do that in my own, um, in my own private quarters. You. Sorry, let me just check my phone for a second. I saw it, like, buzzing. One secky chat. All right. Thank you for the posture check. Thank you for the hydration. Hi, Dente. All right. Okay. What's up, Alfie? Well, the Crystarium seems relatively ordered, wouldn't you say? The Exarch's speech must have been reassuring to hear. On the contrary, there's something jubilant in the air. I have a feeling this night won't be as peaceful as our hooded friend predicted. I think I shall take a brief stroll around town before retiring to my chambers. Once you've discharged your duty to Bragi, I suggest you do the same. Alright. You bedazzling your Vaguba for the Exarch? No, I'm not into the Exarch. Sleep well, Pepper. I would. I hope when troubled dreams find you and Alize both. Did you? Did you just call my vagina my vaguba? <laughs> my vagoob. My vagooby. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I love this place so much. It's gorgeous. Oh. Oh, look at it. Look at it, now that it can actually be like nighttime, obsessed. My Vaguba. 
Indeed, my vagoobly goob. <laughs> Vagooba taking notes. Exarch. Lyrics? There are lyrics in my song? In my theme? Hello? Shit, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> the worst part of Shadowbringers is being forced to look at Exarch's hot dog toes. No! <laughs> Looking to buy a lantern like every other stumbling soul in the city? I see. Well, Captain Lena can rest assured that any potions and ice spot coming in will be set aside for the wounded. Hang on a moment. If you're carrying messages for the guard, does that mean you were there then? The battle at Holminster? Oh, a stalwart last like you might want to pay a visit to the wandering stairs to make herself known. I'm sure Glenard, Glenard, Glen Glenard, Glans can introduce you to some interesting opportunities. Aren't I supposed to be keeping a low profile? Pepper, what are you doing? Bestie, you're doing exactly what he told you not to do. Kind of into it. She's kind of a rebel. Um Oh, it's um it's uh it's right there. Okay, no TPing needed. <laughs> Got it. Wait, do I I do. Wait till you see the pixels on his crystals. Get out. Can someone ban Sarnix? Please? Are they wearing a kitty cat hat? Or no, are their ears just coming out the hat? I don't know. <laughs> Is this a bar? A yo? Kind of obsessed. Ciela. Ciela? More beer for table two. And a couple of pints of mead for table three while you're at it. Coming right up. Oh, he's hot. Sorry, we're rushed off our feet this evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Drinks around the house. Hmm. Oh, that braggy has a twisted sense of humor. Mm. Not me agreeing. <laughs> to think he'd send you to me at a time like this. First real night in a hun in near a hundred years has folks all riled up. And then some. I've, boarded, I've read that so terribly. What's more, there was that eater business that whole Mr. Switch. They say a light warden was destroyed without a damn trace, and it was the warrior of darkness who did the deed. You really must apologize for Glenard. Glenard. He's been almost as rowdy as her customers, and that's no small feat. Girl, what customers? <laughs> A lot of our regulars are bounty hunters, you see. They mostly go after eaters, and the rumor of the warrior's appearance was a spark to their kindling. Hmm? You know how the weak eaters are drawn to the strong ones, right? Aye, they swarm like angry bees around a queen. You need look no further than Holminster for proof of that. But attacks on that scale don't happen every day, praise the blessed shadow. No, the more common threats are the strays. No one knows why, but every now and again, an eater will leave the pack to prowl alone. Those are the ones you run into on the road if your luck is foul. They're a danger to everyone, so a settlement council puts bounties on their heads. And our bar here is a convenient place for hunters to gather and share information. Seems a few of them were inspired by the Warden Slaying even more than most. These are the types who have their sights set on the absolute worst of the strays, a class of eaters that have been dubbed the Cardinal Virtues. Virtue showed up out of nowhere about three summers ago, and when historians heard the descriptions given by survivors, well, Apparently, they share an appearance with the villains who caused the flood. Oh? And if that doesn't send a chill down your spine, they're also reported to be as tough as light wardens. Do I not have my glasses? No, I don't. Not the kind of prey you can take down single-handed. Our virtue hunters had all but given up, and knowing the warrior of darkness is out there has, a lit, has lit a fire in their bellies. Just look at them. Um, I, I really don't see any, girl. This guy just looks like Jay, but different colors. That Hume over there with the oversized sword is grandson. <laughs> grandson. He, he's in it for revenge and wants to recruit a comrade in arms as tenacious as he is. Why do they all have the same blue hair? The missile lad is Lou Reek. 
Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by those dewy cheeks. He's a hard. He's as hard a hunter as they come. He just lost a partner and seems to be on the lookout for a new one. Do they want me to recruit a, a buddy? Is that what's happening? Happening here? That's Sarig. Word is he seeks an expert in magecraft to help the virtue he's after. Why are they all men? Give me a hot dummy mommy. Last we have Giot. Giot, dwarf and drunkard both. Wanted to join forces with the healer and only a healer. Something about needing a mender's wisdom. <laughs> Look at their outfit. I've seen my share of comp uh, com competent veterans, and you have that look about you. Maybe you should introduce yourself to one of our hunters. Who knows? Together, you might even collect the bounty on cardinal on a cardinal virtue. Now there's a grand idea. Imagine the prestige my bar would earn if we boasted the patronage of a successful virtue hunter. You have gained access to Roll Quest, a separate quest line and story is now available for tank, physical DPS, magical range DPS, and healer rolls. Oh, hell yeah! In order to reach the final stage of the Shadowbringer's main scenario, you must complete at least one Roll Quest line. Speak with a virtue hunter at the Wandering Stairs to accept a quest offer. Um, can I do those off stream or should I do those on stream? Jason is good Charlotte era. <laughs> Not y'all <laughs> roasting him. Wow, Sarnix, thank you for telling me that. It just told me that. On stream? Okay, bet. I will do them on stream. Okay, which one of you wants a big sexy tank lady like me? None? None of you? None of you want me? None of you... Ugh, oh, Jay wants me. Never thought I'd ever say that before. <laughs> the tall, dark stranger is regarding you with a mixture of curiosity and approval. Really, Jay? The man with too many scars? Girl, are you okay? Yeah, emo Jay wants me. Can't say I've chatted with you before. I think I'd remember if I had. Senior Fisher fighting, have you? And where are you besides? <laughs> Russell Shirt, I've no secret designs. Name's Granson. Bounty hunter by trade, mostly Sin Eaters. When I first laid eyes on you, I had a feeling you were a tough bastard. The sort that must get mistaken for that worry of darkness folks folks have been talking about recently. That right? <laughs> no. Easy killer. I couldn't care less who you are or what you've done. The only thing I'm looking for these days is a like-minded partner. Someone willing to join me in the hunt for the biggest prize, the side of Norvrant. Prize, you say? I like prizes! Oh, sorry, did I not say the right thing? <laughs> Why'd you look at me like that? <laughs> Thought that'd grab your attention. I don't know that name. Uh, the fiend I'm after. One of the so-called cardinal virtues, as folks are wont to call them. Wait, but this just looks like a dude. Former Warriors of Light, the esteemed he- Uh, oh! The esteemed heroes who saved the realm a century ago. Oh, oh, mm. Dear old, Br mm. Dear old Brandon was one of them, I'm told. Stop me if you've, if you've heard all this before. Uh, anyway, like his comrades, Brandon died in the process, only to return relatively recently as a sin eater! The better to torment we few who survived their mercy. Needless to say, I aim to put an end to all that. So, like, all of Aardvark's friends are Sin Eaters? Is that what I'm getting from this? Or am I mistaking two different plot lines? I probably am. You've heard the pitch, so what's the answer? You're just in hunting with me? Yeah! Yeah. Not a whit of hesitation. I like you, sinner. Nevertheless, I'll need you to... <laughs> Not y'all smiling. Nevertheless, I'll need you to humor me and prove you're the dab hand I think you are. <coughs> dab. Uh, for my sake as well as yours. I've heard reports of straight eaters drifting close to Crystarium. Come with me and put my mind at ease. Jay, emo. <laughs> I can't even say that. Charlemagne, emolamane, <laughs> emolamane. He wants to take you out on a date to sit eat. Oh my god, uh, emo J, uh, stop it. Stop it, you're making me blush. Alright, emo J, I'm gonna save you for another day. 
I got MSQs to go through. Hi, Dub. How are you? It has been a while. Okay, who's this? The whom lout thinks you might be the right person for a questionable job. Nuts to you? Nuts to me? Oh, oh, sir. Oh, you're that, um, that, uh, you're her, aren't you? Halder's been asking after ye. You know Halder, eh? Clan Nutsies, man? What? If you're keen to hunt the deadliest marks for the biggest bounties, then you might want to seek them out. You'll find him by the board over in the rookery. Though, uh, if I were ye, I'd steer clear of that whole bass, the whole nasty business. Bad for one's health, it is. <laughs> okay. Goodbye! Alright. Let's see. Let's go turn in this quest. <gasps> I love your armor! I saw you the other day, I think! Literally here! Ugh! I want your helmet so bad! I want that helmet! I want that helmet! I want that helmet! I want that helmet! I'll get it soon. I'll get it eventually. <gasps> Hi, Stacy! Hello! Welcome back, miss! I wonder if anyone could sleep the city in such an uproar, but will you be retiring to your quarters? Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Very good. In light uh, <clears throat> of the present situation, I have I have had illumination prepared for all our rooms. No need to rush to the markets for lanterns or candles. Have a pleasant rest, miss. Okay, thank you. I go sleep now. I sleep a time. <sighs> Is Aardvark going to be in here waiting for me? Open that balcony, girl. Look at the night sky. Look at the stars. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. <gasps> you did that. You did that. Aardvark's gonna be beside me, isn't he? Well, guess not. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so it's your lot's turn to be the warriors of darkness, is it? <laughs> It's funny how things work out. Been watching, have you? These are my private quarters. Hi, I know. Just the place. In case you've forgotten, you're the only one who can see me. If we had one of our little chats in public, people might start thinking you'd lost your wits. I have, so it's fine. Those white-haired twins who are with you. I remember them from our battle in the source. Yeah, they're my babies. Are they your friends, then? Through thick and thin? Yeah. Are you jealous? Aye. Or does he Then I suggest up? you keep them close. It's when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end up losing those you love. And not that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. I have. But I wonder, what will it cost you this time? Hopefully not another beautiful elfin man or elephant I don't man. remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. And just more nagging burdens to ignore. <coughs> Kind of sad. Another beautiful elephant. <laughs> Who's this? So this is what the light was hiding. Oh, <gasps> she. Hey, I bought your outfit from the Mog Station. She's I have your here. clothes. I must go to her. She's. Oh, <gasps> is no. I saw the I saw the ribbon in her hair and thought Minfilia, because didn't Minfilia like do ribbon stuff? Unless Meanwhile, inside an Imperial Magitek facility in the source. Are we gonna see Ratman? Show me Ratman. The fucking alarms literally sound like feel me. Intruders! 
Fan out and find them! Estonian? Ah! Sorry. <laughs> out of my way! <clears throat> Bro? You could have just body checked her. Stay your weapon. We are not your enemy. Oh, is he going to be working with Gaius? When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. Sir Estinian, I presume. The dragoon who plucked the warrior of light from the jaws of death. Your armor is most distinct. It's quite cool. Much as yours once was. But even without it, I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. Van Bailsa, in the flesh. Though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Hmm. You are in contact with the Scions, I take it. Not a bad thing. Well. <laughs> Through no choice of my own, they tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. Bro. I swear their receptionist was trained as a spy. Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of Euretha. If they have resorted Chill. to using freelancers, Relax. I must assume their attempts to He's wake so me He's so broody. And what of their champion? Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. Mr. Lavellan, what's up? If it is Black Rose you seek, you are too late. My people have already completed your mission here. Hell yeah. Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. Mm. That's unfortunately very smart. There will be no one left in the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript. No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs. And they will call it victory. What exactly does this Black Rose do? Fucking kills everybody, bro. The gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect is more arcane in nature. It was created to disrupt the ether in living beings, to bring the flow of their life energies to a standstill. And their eyes roll back and they go, Ooh, Inhaling yeah. even the tiniest amount will cause all bodily functions Holy to cease. Holy shit. Much as a potent venom will stop a man's heart. Released over a city, Black Rose could conceivably kill every inhabitant. And all without damaging a single structure. Search every corner! Rouse the barracks if you have to! I want this facility secured! <laughs> I have more questions, but now is not the time. I kind of like Estinian's voice. Sir Estinian, voice. Oh. I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can get. <laughs> In case you don't know, Varys himself confessed that your empire was a creation of the Asians. I am aware of what his radiance said at the parley. Thus, I would return to the capital, that I might behold the truth of this corruption with my own eyes. He does my sound like Lord Bolton. You're right. Man, why do they nerf Astinian's lips? He's got none. Oh, it is the same VA? Oh, shit! Oh, hell yeah! Alright, I'm gonna grab some cookies. I kinda want a little... 
You know, I said I wanted a little snack. I didn't mean this snack, but I'll take it. What's this? You about a helmet? Not better than the one I'm wearing, but thank you. I got my cookies and I got my chippies. Oh my god, Claire, get some pizza. Oh, I want pizza so bad. Alright, what's this helmet that he made me? Let's see, is it this? <gasps> I have cat ears! Look at the little cat ears! It's actually kind of cute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It doesn't go with this. Well, I mean, it kind of does. It kind of slaps. Thank you. Hey, Ken. What kind of cookies? Those, like, premium luxury Belgian cookies. I only got three. Hmm. Okay. Oh, goodbye. The adventuring has been going really well. Um. So is Estinian teaming up with Gaius? That's so exciting. Two daddies. Okay. Okay. All right. Where am I going? The manager of Sweet is wearing a grave expression. An unwelcome guest? Okay. Judging from the judging from the picture, I can only assume these are gonna be people from Yulemore. I'm wondering if they'll be the Mikote that Alfino and I were working for. The question is if we're going to get Estinian Gaius. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're gonna fuck. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the fist bump, bro. Uh, beg your pardons, miss, but do you perchance intend to head outside? If so, I would strongly advise you not to stray too far from the Crystarium. For it has a Yulemore, has dispatched its military. Oh, to Lakeland. The military? Sorry, let me eat this cookie. Given the timing, one can only assume they do not welcome the return of night. Even now, the exarch is in the ocu the ocular, deliberating a response. Okay. 
Mm, 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 mm. Let me chill. Hey, Elise. That was so cute. Thank you. I also ship Estinian and Emmerich. They are so fruity. Oh. Someone just sent me a friend request and now someone's giving me a sheeb. Do I have the sheeb already? I do. Who Who's giving it to me? Is it you? It is you. I already have the sheeb. I'm so sorry. I made her cry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm getting headbutts. Thank you. Whose gilf is this? Whose gilf is this? Look at your little bat. Look at your little bat. I oh, I want that bat. It's so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. My husband needs to come back. Okay, I must go. I must go. Did I just TP to a place that I could have walked to? Yes, I did. Okay, I just like quickly skimmed chat. And at least I thought you said hello groomers. Girl. <laughs> Miss ma'am. Okay. 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 Let's go see what's up in the ocularum. The ocular, whatever. Is my chewing loud, by the way? Munch, munch, munch. You are coming at a good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. Lax and Loft here in Lakeland. Yulmore has sent one of its airships. They have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. <laughs> how about immediately? Speak of the devil. <laughs> My lord, I am come with the Yule Moran emissary. May I show him in? A moment, Captain, if you would. They're gonna barge in, aren't they? Or hide that, Everyone yeah. Everyone around. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. I'm a ghost! Chat, be quiet. Enter. Shh. She look like that. Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor, General Ranjit? The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. We are people responsible. You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmore's interest in this? 
His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. I see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmore considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. Tell him. I mean, sorry. <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead and writhe as we might, like maggots in its rotting course, it will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yulmore's mercy promptly. Oh, does he see us? Does he know we're... Oh my god, oh my god. One last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. <gasps> know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant, no. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you, I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. because I was chewing too loudly. He could hear me chew. I got chips all over my teeth now. Am I imagining things or did he just stare straight at us? Oh, he did. I fear he did. The general is not a man to be trifled with. He is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yulmore's army since before Vorthry's time, when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters. One does not command the world's mightiest army and for so long without possessing exceptional instincts. If Yulmore chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot, in good conscience, put your people in harm's way. Are we going to go to Yulmore then? Are we turning It is noble of you in? to say, What's Master Alphino, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Well? Yulmore has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. The people of the Crystarium know this only too well, which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight the last man. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised had Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. 
a young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Minfilia. It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. What do you mean by- Yeah! What do you- Ah, hold up! What do you mean- What do you mean generations of Minfilias? <gasps> the reincarnation! The baby Minfilia that thank her- oh! Yeah, I'm sorry, generations! Ah, of course. How remiss of me. I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He will be able to enlighten you. Bro! Alphino, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right, though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. <laughs> Pepper's face. Girl, you hear this shit? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be right back. I can't find my lipstick. I don't, it's not on my desk for some reason and I need to reapply it. So I'm just gonna go grab that. Um, what the fuck? So I'm assuming this is gonna have to do with like the, re like the reincarnation that we saw in the trailer. Is this how we're gonna find Thancred? Oh my, I'm so excited. All right, be right back. All right, I have returned. Yo, goblins and RP server, why are the queue times so damn long? <laughs> Everyone's just fucking in Limsa Lamensa. So the queue times are dastardly. Oh my God, we're on Christmas time. That too. That too. P when people start like having their like Christmas vacations and shit, it's gonna be terrible. Yeah, Balmung. Balmung is like full though. No one can make an account or uh, make a character on there anymore. Oh, can someone double check in the Final Fantasy channel in my server if Claire um, picked Goblin? By the way. Okay. So I just have to like get out of here. Okay. All right. Okay. Is that the wrong door? A oh, sister. <laughs> okay, they all look the same, all right? Okay. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, yes. The Cabinet of Curiosity to speak with Morin, which was the uh, the white-haired are they an Ellison or a Hure? Or a whom, I guess. A whom or an elf? I think they're all the way at the top, if I remember correctly. God, this place is so pretty. 
Oh, you're still here? Oh, hi! Okay, perf. Oh, they're here. Or whom. Yes, if you're after books pertaining to the Warrior of Darkness, I'm afraid most are out on loan at present. They're experiencing quite a surge in popularity. Oh, you wish to learn about the Oracle of Light? Then it'd be my pleasure to assist. After I finished off some few outstanding tasks, that is. While I attend to them, perhaps you could fetch me a book. The Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light, it's called. Though it's intended for younger readers, it provides an excellent summary of the subject matter, and the artwork is quite lovely besides. I would not hesitate to recommend it to anyone with an interest in learning about Menphilia. But you must see for yourself. The book should be located on the level below. Should, I say. For a while, there is a place for everything here, not everything is always in its place. Let me guess, it's not going to be here? Despite my best efforts. Uh, it's placed despite my, despite my best efforts. In short, if the book is not where it should be, it will almost certainly be somewhere it shouldn't. So, uh, good luck! Great. All right, now we gotta look for it. Alrighty, where are you at? Is it gonna be deeper? Oh, I can't even get down there. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Maybe? Nope, I'm searching, I'm looking, my hands are in the books. I'm interacting, I'm engaging. Just as your eyes begin to blur, they finally come to rest on a copy of the illustrated tale of the Oracle of Light. Perfect. All right, let's go. Care to not fuck it up this time? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks everybody for uh, confirming that she did not fuck it up. <laughs> Claire, whenever you begin your sub, let us know. We can invite you. We can invite you to the, um... <laughs> oh, we can invite you to the FC. Have you found the book? I have. Yes, this is the one! I hope it wasn't too difficult to track down. I'm happy to say I finished all my pressing tasks. If you want to call your friends over, we can begin learning at once. Bye, Kelsey! Thank you for modding. Without further ado, then. It began a hundred years ago, when the Flood of Light threatened to swallow Norva Norvrant. Just as all seemed lost, a savior appeared who halted the all-consuming radiance. A maiden with hair of spun gold and eyes of clear sapphire. Oh yeah, I, in, the, in the thing that they showed me, the woman that was standing, or like, uh, up going like this, like in the air. Yeah, that was Menphilia. It's all coming together. Not was known about her save that her, that her name was Menphilia. And for delivering the realm, she, be, she came to be revered, revered, revered as the Oracle of Light. After stopping the flood, the mysterious maiden vanished without a trace. But fifteen years later, her name would unexpectedly reappear in the annals of history. So it was her with the with the with the braided hair. I was right. Oh my! When Sin Eaters laid ruin to the kingdom of Vobert, a young girl was discovered who was immune to the creature's blighted touch. One with hair of spun gold and eyes of clear sapphire. She was hailed as the Oracle Reborn and came to likewise be called Menphilia. Enlisting in the Yomoran army, this Menphilia fought and vanquished countless Sin Eaters. Oh god. Alas, like so many of her soldiers, she eventually met her end in battle. Yet with her dying breath, she whispered unto her grieving comrades, Menphilia will return. And true to her words, some years later, another young girl was discovered who possessed the self-same eyes, that self-same hair, and those self-same powers. She too took the name Enphilia. She too fought Sin Eaters as a soldier of Yulmore, and she too fell in battle. Many more were to follow in her footsteps, and so the cycle continues to this day. Oh my god. And that concludes the tale. So their valor and sacrifice, by their valor and sacrifice, these women these women have saved Norvrant on numerous occasions. Fuck! They sound like formidable warriors. Oh, I accidentally skipped that last thing he said. That's fine though. Or, ugh. some perhaps. The truth is rather less simple. Though the Oracle is reborn with certain common traits, she does not inherit the memories or the knowledge of her previous incarnations. <gasps> so she's just reborn, as just. A whole new person entirely. 
All of them in Phyllis thus far were discovered as ordinary girls, unversed in the ways of war or ignor and ignorant of the power they harbored. Damn, they got that main character syndrome. <laughs> While some embraced their fate and devoted themselves to training, others did not. Hmm. But all were made to face the Sin Eaters, and all died to keep our hopes alive. Oh my god. That's so sad. Kind of beautiful in a way. What can you tell us of the current Menphilia? They said she got captured, right? She was found by the Yulmoran army some ten years ago and taken into their care. But I just saw her in a cutscene! Or rather, the custody. She was a prisoner in all but name. For by that time, under Lord Vothry's rule, Yulmore had already... <coughs> oh! Abandoned resistance in favor of decadence. I didn't have time to cover my nose. I got chips in my hair. <laughs> oh, I know, Spiff. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, chat. Thank you, thank you. Finfilia was an uncomfortable reminder of the war they no longer wished to wish to fight. A potential threat to the peace, and so they kept her under lock and key. Mmm. That's fucking awful. Like, pretend it doesn't exist kind of stuff. For a long while, we have we heard nothing more of her. We couldn't even be certain she was alive, save that it was in the Yule Morin's best interest for her to remain under their control. Keep their sin eaters alive if we keep the the stopper of them, I guess, locked up. And three years ago, a gallant soul uh is it gallant? Yes, yeah, soul stole into the city and rescued her from their clutches, just like a hero from the tales. Indeed. Well, I believe we now have a good grasp of Minf of Minfilia's tale. Thank you for your time, Morin. Might I trouble you for a word, Pepper? Outside. Will your sister be with us? Hi, Carnage! Hello! Alright. Hello? Are you reading a book? Oh, you're so pretty! You're, you're so pretty! I like your- I like your helmet. Okay, bye. Ah, this place is gorgeous. Okay. What's up, Alfie? As you will have already surmised, the gallant soul who rescued Nephilia was none other than our own dear Thancred! Yes! Yes! Yeah, boy! They have since been wandering the land together, never remaining in one place for long, which is why we have not yet had a chance to meet them. Oh, whee! I knew it! Hell yeah. We know that Minfilia journeyed here as Heidelin's em em emissary to halt the Flood of Light. Did I say joined or journeyed? Anyways, it can only be heard that the people of the first witnessed a hundred years ago. The original Oracle of Light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But while there's plainly some connection between the woman the woman we knew and her namesakes, the fact that these girls do not share her memories must surely mean they are not the same person. Yeah, they just have the same traits, but like, they are completely different people. At their core. Which is like, amazing. Thancred has to understand that. I have no doubt that he understands. The question is how he feels. I- yeah. No. Oh. Regardless of Thancred, we know would not forsake his charge. To look after Minfilia, to protect her at all cost. If she has been captured, we may be certain he will not stand idly by. <laughs> there you go again, talking in a roundabout way. If you think we should rescue Minfilia, just spit it out. <laughs> It just so happens, I agree with you. Yes, we're all on the same page. I may not have been a Minfilia simp before, but I might be now. It's quite clear this Minfilia possesses Heidelin's blessing. And it wouldn't hurt to have a second such individual on our side. Right, Pepper? No, the more the merrier! I can't be the only one carrying these burdens around. 
One's generally been enough, but fine. Ugh, Pepper, don't have that attitude. I see you've made up your minds. Oh, is it Thancred? Is that Thancred? Was he listening? Was he eavesdropping? Was he dropping eaves? Oh, it's you. Exarch, what brings you here? A report and a proposal. Oh? Are you coming with us? First, report. Our scouts have confirmed that your Moran forces at Lax and Loft do indeed have been filling in their custody. Oh yeah, okay. Right. For the present, they are holding her there, but we can be certain they will move her to Yulmore or Long. Should that happen, we may be forced to give her up as lost. We'll find her? No. So if we mean to act, we should do so quickly. We're not gonna fail, even if we're a little bit delayed. Come on. Which brings me to my proposal. Go on. Zombie, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a great stream. I ask you entrust this undertaking to us, the people of Crystarium. Oh? You don't want us to do it? Why? And that's how the quest ends? The twins don't even fight him? Hi, Avalon! Okay. Okay, I'm back. The Exarch is eager to delve into the details of his proposal. Well? You are doubtless eager to attempt Minfilia's rescue. And with your combined strength, you may well succeed. But as I said earlier, I do not wish to show our hand unless absolutely necessary. It was not merely the night sky that you restored to us, but hope. Hope for the future of Norvrand. I love this. Unlike you, we cannot contend with the Light Wardens, but so long as oh. hope burns in our hearts, is that what happened to him? Regardless. He like nearly escaped this one. I will prove to you. No, that's from this is from being locked up in the crystal. T Man, I don't know. My friends, I thank you for gathering at such short notice. There is something I would ask you all. As many of you are aware, I received an emissary from Yulmore a short while ago in the form of General Ranjit. To my dismay, the General condemned the slaying of the Light Warden, and warned me in no uncertain terms that, should the Crystarium cast its lot with the Warrior of Darkness, there would be war. Let none be mistaken, we would be hard-pressed indeed to resist the might of Yulmor. Some would even call it suicide. And yet my heart cries out to fight. Better that than relinquish the hope that swelled in my breast when I beheld the night sky for the first time in a hundred years. Or so says my heart. My mind, meanwhile, reminds me that to follow my heart would be to risk everything we have accomplished thus far. Clearly, this is not a decision to be made lightly, nor less alone. And so I put the question to you all. What should we do? My lord, you already know our minds. It brought tears to our eyes to witness the knight's return. The whole of Norvrand deserves the same, and not just because some children's story tells us so. Yulmor's influence is far-reaching. I love his voice. Should war break out, trade would be subject to restrictions. The flow of goods will dry up. 
and we will struggle to make do with what little trickles through. But make do, we will. Make do? <laughs> Aye, we can weather such hardships. Is that not the very thing the Crystarium was built for? We have always taken pride in our ability to sustain ourselves. Not just to endure, but to thrive. Why am I getting such bad vibes from this? When all falls down around you, rise up. Those were your words. There may come a day when all hope seems lost. But even should the rest of the world give in to despair, we shall not. We shall fight on, that our children and our children's children might know a better tomorrow. Aww. Rousing words apart, I never much cared for those you moron bastards anyway. No better than common swindlers, most of them. Wouldn't know a fair deal if it came up and kissed them on the arse. Trust you to spoil the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it appears we have a consensus. Let it be known that the Yormoran host at Laxon Loft has taken the Oracle of Light captive. They fear the power she holds over the Sin Eaters and doubtless intend to imprison her once more. Mm -mm. Not if I have anything to say. So. I move that we rescue the Oracle, mm -hmm. grant her a place among us, mm -hmm. and let that be our answer to Yulmore's ultimatum. Mm -hmm. Hear, hear! Hear, hear! But, like, what, how are we gonna do this? I'm just gonna barge in. In planning a strategy gates. for the rescue, I open the floor to you all. <laughs> and there you have it. If Yulmore wishes to denounce us as villains, then we shall embrace our villainy. Will you do so as well? Uh huh. <sighs> we will not be outdone. Consider us your partners in crime. I love this. So the Oracle My Lord, of Light our proposal and the Warrior is of follows. Darkness. We begin by deploying Amaro to occupy the skies over Lakeland. They should serve to delay the airship's departure. At the same time, we scatter dream powder from the air. Like knockout Not all will succumb to its effects, but it should thin the enemy's numbers, affording us an opening to swoop in and liberate the Oracle. Very good. Seed your preparations. We're about to start a fucking war. This is gonna end so terribly. I just know it. I'm a little nervous. And what exciting crimes would you have us commit? Mm -hmm. Speaking for my fellow villains, I'd say we're capable of most things, though we draw the line at indolence. Bye, dentist. <laughs> if excitement is your desire, then I bid you join the guard. Captain Lena will give you your orders. Mommy. So is there another dungeon coming up? Or a trial? A duty? Okay. Oh. I will murder, but I won't be impolite. I love this for her. Thank you for the head pats. Goodbye. I'm gonna make some more tacos. Enjoy your tacos, Nami. Don't forget to share with the class. Nervous? Whatever for? I don't know. 
I feel like I'm gonna lose someone in the process. This seems too easy. They're too confident. They came up with that plan too fast. I feel like something's gonna happen to one of the twins. I don't know why. Welcome back, Sarnix. Claire, how's the Realm Reborn going? Uh, what's Coriander up to? Is she fitting in? I'm so glad you chose a row. I fucking love the rows. If I didn't love Lalafell so much, and if I wasn't obsessed with my, my Mikote, I would probably be a row. Okay. Speak with Lena. Oh, where is she? Oh. So you'll be joining the guard. Whatever highly the exec thinks of you, you will receive no special treatment from me. Is that clear? Yes, mommy. Where's your salute, soldier? Or, mm. God damn. Okay. Okay. Better. More spirited than the Exert's feeble attempts, certainly. I love her. Now, first things first. You will need uniforms. Go to the Crystalline Mean and report to Catalyst. She will see you measured and fitted. Am I gonna look cute? Am I gonna look hot? I better. I love Lala's, but like the rows are so hot. The rows are very, very hot. Someone in um in John's server is also a row. Who was it again? Is it Eliza? I don't remember. The Aras are also really hot. I was so upset when I clicked female and the divided my body has by half though. They do that for a lot of them. I think the like the only race right now that like makes sense. I think. Or not makes sense, but like makes me happy is the fact that Vieras, like Viera women, are infinitely taller than Viera men. Love that. Tall bunny girls, short bunny boys. Good stuff. The 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 size difference between a male aura and a female aura is also horrifying. <gasps> Thank you for the head pats! I love that every oh bye. I love that everyone is just giving me head pats. I mean, my adventure plate does say head pats, please. So I did sign up for that. Let me be an absolute unit and the girly T. Everyone is super hot. Yeah, everyone is really hot. They're all hot. Oh! Wait! Nick Finn. Finn, is that you? Are you Finn? My friend was upset that that I was upset that Aura Woman can't be tall and buff too. Yeah, I don't know why. I feel like Aura Woman should be beefy. This is me. Hi, Finn! Hello! Oh my god, okay, now I know that it's you. Hell yeah, more of you are in here. We love to see it. Is Gain still here? Also, hi, Davey. I just noticed you're here too. <laughs> you should see the Aura concept. Is it Aura? 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 I say Aura. Um, concept arts. Most of the female are tall and fit like Viera. Oh, really? You know, there, there's something to be said about concept art almost always looking better than what's actually in the game. The fact that Bun's lore is that they're all canonically pretty at birth so their parents just give them unisex names. Wait, really? I love that. Ah, there's a lot. And there's the last of them. Your friends are being measured as we speak. Right this way. We'll see. Should I start doing the accents? Do y'all miss the accents? Is it accent time? Do I bring it out? Do we do it? Right this way. We'll see to it you look your dashing best for your first outing. Avalon, this is not the place to talk about that. I don't know. I don't even know what I just said. I wasn't paying attention. That's fine, though. How goes it? Yeah, how does it go? How how am I looking? How are my sizings? Sorry, Captain. I'm afraid we don't have anything on hand that's ready. That's a ready fit. No. 
I mean, that's okay. I, I'm, look at me. I'm wearing armor as we speak. We do have a few that are fairly close. We should be able to make them work, but with some minor adjustments. That works for me. I can be a little baggy. Very well then. See to it. And have the uniforms delivered directly to the field. I don't even know how I, if I could do her accent. I wish I could. I'll have to practice it offline. I should take this opportunity to brief you on the mission. Yes, ma'am. As mentioned earlier, we will deploy Amaro to scatter dream powder from the air. Okay. Once the powder takes effect, an elite unit will storm the fortress to rescue the Oracle. Her safe liberation is our sole objective. Engagement is to be avoided wherever possible. I assume we're to be part of said unit? Correct. The unit will be divided into two contingents, one deploying from foot job and the other from the hostile imperative. You and Elfino will join the former. So, Alize and Elfino are going to foot job? I wanted to go to foot job. Pepper, meanwhile, will join the latter with me. Aw, I'm not going to foot job. Dad. Before you proceed to your positions, you are to report to Chesamile at Spagarix. Spagarix? Spagarix? She will issue you with a serum to ward off the effects of dream powder. Hell yeah. We shall be on our way then. Take care, my friend, and we will see you in the field. I have a really suspicious feeling something is going to happen to my little 20 babies. I don't know why. It's quite far to the imperative, so you may use one. So you may make use of an Amara from the Rookery after you've left the serum, of course. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared that something's gonna happen to them. I don't know why. I don't know if one is gonna get captured. I don't know. This seems too easy. Yeah, but the Araha difference does have the opportunity for characters like Sadu to be born. True. That's... Fair. That is completely fair. That is completely fair. Small, but scary. I do love that. What job? Yeah, the foot job! There's a place called foot job! And I wanted to go there. I love seeing so much more Mikote, honestly, or sorry, Mistles. Yes, sweetie, is there something you need? Oh, one of the guard come for your dram, are you? Here you go, a dose of this will keep you firmly in the waking world while your enemies are off in dreamland. Now, if this is your first time, I should warn you, it's bitter as sin. Prince's kiss, they call it, but if you ask me, it should be, it should be Crone's kiss. <laughs> Just aside, this stuff really is foul. Most people gag like there's no tomorrow, but if you don't drain every last drop, you're liable to end up taking a trip to dreamland yourself. So I must ask you to drink it here and now while I watch. Come on, give the old crone a kiss. <laughs> Alright, I'm drinking it. Is it yummy, Pepper? Oh, oh no, she didn't like that. Her ears are a little twitch, but then she said nyo nyo. Well done, sweetie. I'm proud of you. Why, if I didn't know any better, I'd even say you enjoyed it the praise kink is being catered to and now you need to fear falling asleep on the battlefield just have care you don't lose any limbs out there all right they don't tend to grow back all right now where do i go i gotta get out and then go around i'm in a voice chat and someone just said amul jussie get out that's amazing that's amazing Hi, McCloud, what's up? Why do I have a little follow guy? It's a minion. You get minions in this game. And they can be, they can be anything. They could be like a little Moogle. It could be a little, a little seal pup. 
It could be a marble. <laughs> oh, the sounds it makes. Um, it could even be other characters in the game. Like this is a little Alfino. You know, I got a little mini Alfino. Look at him run! <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Uh, yeah. Okay, where am I going? This way. Nope. This way. Instead of keeping an ex boyfriend sweatshirt, she keeps a minion. True. Well, I wouldn't call him my ex boyfriend. I would call him my late partner. Thank you. So I want someone waist high to her. No, 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 no. I want someone double my size. But. <gasps> but. Will get down to waist level for me. Hello! It's a wild Stacy. Wait, Stacy, I thought you were a Lollafell. Did you change back? Oh my god, your glam is so cute. <gasps> she do a little kiss. She do a little kiss. I'll do a little kiss back. Oh my god, your hair is so cute. Look at the little braid. And the little bow. It's so cute. You're so cute. Oh, look at her. Oh, she do a wink. Oh, she do a little winky wink. All right, where am I going? Bye, Stacy. I got people to save, babes. I've got to go. It can be a blue booby. Very true. I know, cat girl supremacy indeed. Wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I'm back. Sorry. Bye again. <laughs> do I go out here? Mm, oh yeah, because the they're over there. Yeah, I see them. Yeah, they're in here. So I gotta speak to Zem, Zem, Jemai, Jemai, Zem, Jemai. Yes, what do you require of me? I am in perfect standing distance of uh, hamster and banana. And I'm about to take you to the imperative, eh? As much as I would love to, would like to oblige, all our mounts are reserved for the coming operation. I fear you will have to go by foot. But I'm... Hmm, but wait, there might be another way, assuming you are willing to lend a hand. I'm literally part of the guard. Jump Manjay, thank you for the prime. Prime? Thank you for the normie sub. I'm sorry. What did I just get? Is it one of these? Garuda's pain? What's this one? Deep gold wings of fending? Is that a helmet? With this? Oh, wait, that's kind of sick. It's giving like Valkyrie vibes. Hello? <sighs> Zem Jinmai has a task for you. Should you be willing? I was about to deliver tomorrow to Radiska's Radiska's round, one of the locations once the beasts once the beast will fly for the operation. Tower lies along the route to the imperative. If near enough is good enough for you. If near enough is good enough for you, you may make the delivery in my stead. Very good. I shall ready the Amaro for departure at once. Okay. Am I going to be able to fly firsthand though? It's, it had the, the ether symbol, but I think I'm going to just have to be doing some running. Okay, let's see. Radiska's round is to the northwest. You can take the road or you can fly. It is up to you. Upon arriving, make yourself known to the sentry and she will give you further instructions. There's an ether current up there. If you should become separate from the Amaro, worry not. The beasts are trained to return to the rookery. That is all. Go well. Okay, wait. Let me get this. Oh, wait. I can't get it right now? Are you kidding me? Okay, now I can get it. Okay. And... Hell yeah, I got an ether current. The Mara turned without you. See that you deliver it safely, yes? Oh, I can fly! Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh. Oh, these guys are beautiful. <gasps> can I get a... Don't answer this. I'll find out myself. Um, but I really hope I can get one of these as a mount. Oh, oh, what's over there? Oh, look at their wings. 
Oh, they do a glide. Oh, I love them. The sound, like the audio is kind of like bugging a bit for some reason. This is so fucking beautiful. Oh, I'm so close to unlocking another area. Let's get it. Ooh. Yeah, is, is anyone else hearing the audio bugging? Hold on, wait, what? My team bard in D&D is named Amaro. Named him before Shadowbringers. It's very confused at first. That's funny. All jobs to 80? Wait. I have to get all my jobs to 80? Wait, are you serious? And then I can get one? Like, dead ass? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, more of a reason to grind out this game, we ball. So be it. Oh, this game is so fucking pretty. This game is so pretty. I'm so glad it's nighttime. My favorite part of, like, any video game is, like, nighttime areas. Or just if there's like a clock and it gets like dark. Like in Skyrim, that's my favorite time to explore in the evening and night. When like Secunda plays. Oh, so good. All minus Sage and Reaper, because they're Endwalker. Okay. So everything like from Shadowbringers and below. <laughs> Thrill incentives, mounts and minions and glams, exactly. Mouse over the weather, is it different? Yeah, it's clear now, or just cloudy because it's no longer the everlasting light. I know Jay told me to speak to one of the Sky Watchers before, well, the next time I loaded in, but I completely forgot to do that. I hope he is not mad at me. Am I at the right place? Or is this another quest? Oh, this is the right one. Okay, cool. Now I'll get this either current as well. Who is that Jin? It is. <laughs> okay. Am I? Oh. Wait. Did I have to ride it to them? Or am I good? Okay. Please tell me. <laughs> you mean to tell me now? I have to go all the way back here. Thank you. Get in my party. My Uber is here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I got excited by the uh, the ether current. Yes, like the hissing waste. The hissing waste may be a headache to get around, but I do love the atmosphere of it. My shoulders, I need a fucking, I need a massage. Someone come rub my back. Literally everyone I've seen do this quest has done the same thing. Okay, good. I don't feel so alone. I am just glad that I have an Uber driver present to get me from point A to point B when I fuck up or when I'm feeling lazy. So at least um, my struggles, you know, don't feel as bad. On my way? Bro, you just went offline. My Uber already already brought me back. I don't need you. No? Wait, no, what? Wait, what? Oh, shoulder rubs? Oh, thank you. Thanks. Headache to get around the hissing waste. The atmosphere is beautiful. Yeah, the atmosphere, like, makes it worth it. I hope we get to see more of, like, those areas in the TV show or in the Netflix series. I'm so excited. 
Chad, have y'all been keeping up to date? Have y'all seen um, the trailers for, or the trailer rather, for Dragon Age Absolution? It comes out in like five fucking days. Where's that music coming from? Is that from the game? Oh, Jin's in combat. Oh. <laughs> that scared me. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, you're delivering that Amaro to us? I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. We already have all the beasts required here. Are you fucking kidding? Indeed, this one is to go to the Imperative to the West. Please see it to the handler on duty. Zelly Van Vandu. If you encounter trouble along the path, return here and I'll set you rightwise. Are you fucking... All right. Let's go. Oh my god, the sky! <gasps> the name of this forest is the Forest of the Lost Shepherd? Fuck off, that's beautiful. Oh, oh. my heart. Ooh, there's an ether right there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, and thankfully I have to drop the guy over here so I can get that ether right. Perfect. I'll drop them up here. Pidgeotto? Oh, no, those are moths. Ah, the last tomorrow. My thanks, friend. You may leave the beast with me. Okay, let me go attune very quickly before I forget. I love how Dragon Age replied to your tweet. As they should. As they should. I asked Dragon Age if they loved me, and they said yes. So, uh, we're now dating. The names in this game are very fun, they are. Some of them make like zero sense, while other ones are just like poetic. The po like the the actual like scrambled names that are in Limsa Lamensa crack me up. Wanna know Oh Hello? Hello? I have the chair. Um, thank you though. I appreciate it. I already- I already got that mount. Oh, I have it somewhere. Yeah. See, I would take, like, the things that y'all give me, but if I did, I'd feel bad because then I would just be giving it to the people in the FC if they don't have it. The key smash names, they're so good. There's a Lala called Unattended Baby. That's very funny. There are some characters that are named, like, like, wow, nice. How do I pronounce that? Can you say that in the cutscene, please? Bye, Finn! Take care. Thank you for popping in. Uh, wanna know some lore for the zones you've seen so far? It's not spoilers? No. Say, I say, I don't believe I know you. Did you join the guard recently? Actually, I do wanna know. Tell me. Huh, so that is the way of it. Well, you managed to arrive, and that's all that matters in the end. I bid you welcome to the Austral Imperative, one of our key strongholds in Lakeland. The first thing you'll you'll want to do is report to the captain. You'll find her at the lookout across the way. Okay, I'm going. I want to see mommy. I hope she's a mommy. Is she a mommy? If she's the captain? Oh, it's Lena! Oh, it is a mommy. Who's running behind me? Is it Jin? It is Jin. And his little chocobo! We do a hop, we do a hop, we hop hop, we hop hop, we hop hop. Do I hop up down here? Oh, I hop up up here. I hop up up here. I hoppity, I hoppity, a hippity, we hop, we hop, I go, I go, oh. <gasps> oh! Oh my. Hello? Who the? You're ruining my view! You're ruining my view! This is so pretty. This game just like keeps surprising me. Okay. Alright. Oh, I forgot to get the ether current! So, it seems that rather than the. Um, then the Amaro delivering you, you delivered their Amaro. Oh, I butchered that sentence. Oh no, thank you. I expect all my soldiers to make themselves useful. Speaking of which, I have a task for you. 
What did I get? Oh, I got a weapon. See it. It's hideous. Thank you, though. Okay, let me go get that current. Okay, so you know how all the shards are a reflection of the source? Well, that goes for each zone you visit in the first. <gasps> really? Ooh. So. So, where's this then? So, what is this a reflection of? Lakeland is a reflection of Mordona? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love that! So, literally every, like, ounce of it, like, echoes one another. Really? That's really cool. You could open the world map and compare. Yeah, but that means I have to open the world map and compare. Okay, what am I... That's so cool. That's really cool. Is there anything I can do in the game to learn more about that? That's really, really cool. A side quest? Okay, true. That's all that's left? Yeah, no, that's kind of like dark to think about. That little like, little piece there. There's nothing else. That's the whole map. That's it. <sighs> Ooh. Oh. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting armors. With Operation Fast Approaching, Lena means to put you to work. In readiness for the operation, the Amaro will need to be treated with the same serum as us. As you well know, however, it is not pleasant. In order to coax them into taking it, we have sprinkled it on their fodder. All that remains to feed it to them. A task I'm sure you will enjoy. Fetch the fodder from the Amaro launch and see to the four of the beasts. Dismissed. Yes, ma'am. So you just want me to feed the Amaro? Doesn't seem too bad. This better not be a mini duty or I swear to God. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, it's all the way up here. <laughs> I learned that about, I learned about the zones from the dev interviews. Oh, interesting. I mean, that makes sense, like, interviews and, like, Q&As will just, like, explain all the little tidbits and stuff, right? New armor? Yeah, I got new armor. I want to watch some some of the, like, newer interviews, but I know I'd probably get some things, like, accidentally spoiled, which kind of sucks. I'm literally, like, refraining from Googling anything about this game until I'm done, and it kind of sucks. I've muted, like, all of my favorite artists on, um, on Twitter. Like, I've unfollowed a bunch of people, I've muted some of my friends, like... And because I have bad memory, it's pretty sweet. I don't remember a lot of things. I know faces of people. Like, I know Solus, because I've seen his face a thousand times in artwork, but like, I don't... You know? You know Mordona's air is full of that purple ether? That's essentially the inspiration for the purple landscape. Ooh, I love that. Love that. I love these little tidbits. Oh, my head is hurting. Oh, I'm gonna have to feed all four of them individually. Wee, wee, wee. The Amaro happily devours their father. Father? <laughs> their fodder! <laughs> it's not father. Not this. Hi, Motek. In the first live letter where they talk about Shadowbringers, they said Lakeland is what Mordona would look like if Dalamond hadn't wrecked it. Ooh. 
That's kind of that's kind of heartbreaking now. You mean this this could have been what it was like? I found a play as a man in 2007. OMG, I was such a silly child. Let me guess, was the gummy bear on there? Fodder figure. The fodder figure. Yeah, my fodder. Sometimes I gotta feed my fodder. With fodder. My fodder is eating my fodder. Okay. I feel like I'm going delusional. What time is it? It's only 11 o'clock. And I'm already losing my mind. Okay. I had Crazy Frog. There you go. You were a cool kid. I promise you were super cool. You've said fodder enough. <laughs> You've said fodder enough and no longer sounds like a real world. A real world? The Amaro absent mindedly munches on the fodder. You know what? I feel like I. So I remember someone saying, like on Twitter, something about Ishgard once being green or it's gonna be green again or something like that. And I was like, no! Stay snowy! And then I remember someone in chat was like, lol, that's not true. Were, do you think that they were talking about that? Like how it could have been? Eat, eat. Yamara was wary at first, but Absent eventually wins out and accepts the fodder. Eat. Eat the foodies. Eat the foodies. Eat the foodies. I give you snackies. I'm coming. There you go. We? Damara reels the smell but accepts the father. The father, nonetheless. Dragon! Is it pronounced dragon? Happy Dragon Age Day to you too! Used to be green, but after the calamity, it's perma snowy. Yeah, I fucking love it like that. If it ever lost its snowiness, I'd be sad. You see Dragon Age for 13 months! Oh, it was green in one point whatever the fuck? Oh, hell yeah. That's interesting. And now it's perma snowy? Hell yeah. Why are there no dads in the first? Pepper fed them all to the birds. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the Amaro are fed. Mm-hmm. Good. The rest have already been dosed, so we need not fear any of our mounts succumbing to the dream powder. All units have now entered the final stage of the preparations. The time is nigh. Make ready and await deployment atop the main watchtower. Ooh. I will send you- I will send your uniform along as soon as it arrives. That is all. May night smell upon us. Mmm. Smiling. Mm-hmm. May it- may it smile indeed. Thank you for the hydration. I'm actually gonna disband the party. I don't know if I need y'all anymore. Fare thee well. Oh, I meant this band. I uh, just left it, but that works too. What the fuck is that? What? What was that? Did y'all see that? There was an orb. There was an orb shadow. That was weird. Hey! Psykesh! It's me in like another life. And they're also Mikote. Perfect. Hell yeah. Okay, so we gotta go up again. If I need snuggly, warm, snowy feels, I go to Ishgard. Me too. I don't know if maybe like Dragon Age did it to me, but oh, look, look. Oh, it's you again. I fucking love that mount, whatever that is. Um, but I think like Haven and I guess kind of Skyhold too made me really love snow. Not in real life. Well, kind of in real life too. But winter brings me so much comfort. <gasps> Um, and it just reminds me of, like, my, my favorite, like, comfort game. Even though I get seasonal depression and I don't, I don't, like, thoroughly enjoy what comes with winter, like, slush and stuff, it's just, it feels like home. So sorry, should I buy Dragon Age Inquisition at $7.99 on Steam? Yes, that is a steal. Dragon Age Inquisition won Game of the Year in 2014 for a reason. Play it, play it, buy it and play it. Today's Dragon Age Day. You have no um, excuse.
Winter brings that cozy vibe. Warm knit sweaters, cozy hot chalky drinks, cuddling under the blanket with a beloved. Yes! I do not have a beloved to cuddle, but I have a dog. So, yes. Hippo! Hippo! I love him. Oh, buying it now? Good. You should uh, keep us updated in the server about your Dragon Age shenanigans. A lot of people are replaying it right now. So I would love to also hear your your progress, your thoughts and whatnot. Is your download Inquisition today in, in my hype for the new one? Hell yeah. I'm, per I'm postponing my Dragon Age uh, playthroughs until like next year. I'm very, very, very excited to go through Origins again, finally after so many years. Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition. I like, I live where it snows a lot in the winter and it's so nice to have a warm drink and watch the chunky snowfalls. OMG. I know. I love watching the snowfall, but knowing that I have to bundle up to go walk my dog in it can sometimes be infuriating, especially when you when I live on like the 30th floor. But you know. The puppy counts. Yes, the goodest boy. He's the best boy. I'd love to see you play Inquisition again. I will. Gotta wait till next year. I love being in the Imperium because I haven't seen snow in four years. Oh, shit. Well, you know what, Stacy? I'll haul you to Canada for a few days, toss you in the snow, bring you out, and then put you on a plane. Why are you so high up? I don't know. I like it. <laughs> 30th floor? Mm-hmm. I do be on 30th floor. I can see everything in Toronto. The operation is about to commence. Stand ready. During the operation, some of your gear will be glamoured. Your attributes and abilities will be unaffected. Oh, am I gonna am I gonna wear the um the armor? Like the uniform? Like their armor? Ooh. <gasps> Advanced GG, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Covenant with your badge center stay. They're purple! It's like a pinky purple! Oh shit. There's Minfilia. Oh my god, her eyes. <laughs> wow, the quality is vastly better. She's a child! Oh. I wonder if this one will have her memories because she said she's here and I'm assuming she uh, meant me. What now? Drop the gas! The Crystarium the again. powder! Desperate fools. It'll take more than a handful of overgrown lizards to ground us. He looks so dead inside. Oh my god. Wow, it's instant! You're gonna be sound the alarm. What alarm? They're all knocked out, bro. Huh. Well, I guess that was easier than anticipated. Those boots. Oh my god, I look so goofy in that helmet. <laughs> Captain, the powder has taken effect. It is time. Let us free the Oracle from their clutches. Yes, mommy. Whatever you say, mommy. Am I hopping on my new friend? Am I whiting my new friend? I love the little, like, saddles. They're so cute. Oh, yeah! I was gonna say, why are my legs not on the side? But I guess because of the wings, I have to keep my legs in the front, right? To give them more mobility?
this is so pretty! Is her class dancer? That's kind of iconic. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. Okay, fight your way to Minfilia, bet. First condition has already entered, let's follow. Bet. Did I just fuck them all up? Maybe you can lend us a hand? I will! I will, bestie! They're not. It's so it's so hard to like see. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. All is fine. Are they dead? They're dead. Hello? Can I not I can't fight you? I guess I can only help the help my homies, right? Alright. We keep close to the wall. We keep close to the wall. We keep close to the okay. Alright. What's happening? This way? Close to this wall? Oh I see. I see. Wait, that's Alfino! I thought that was Alice. Oh, he's in the armor! I was like, red? Wow. That's embarrassing. Well, I mean, they do look the same. Oh, There's Alice. Oh. Mommy? See, baby? Look how cute! I'm only fighting one. Is this one? No, it's not this one. Oh, my grit is not on. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference in these in these situations. I don't know. Duty, like these like instances are always so weird to me. I don't know like what mechanics work best. Like when we were fighting the um what do you call it? Oh she's asleep, oh no. What was it called with um with Sadu when we were fighting like the 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 ka the kana mana 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 hamana? That stuff, remember? Yeah, the tournament. I was like, I don't know like like what I should be doing, should be fighting. And like I didn't have to fight anybody, I just had to like kamikaze you through, you know? Hello? Which is like kind of interesting. Leave this to me. I kinda like that. Oi. I kind of love that she's a dancer. I don't know why. I thought she'd be a tank. Alright. That's not gonna happen. Cooldown. I couldn't see that. It's so purple! Everything is so purple, I love it! Hello? 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 What is- okay, there's two here. I can hardly tell. Am I even doing any damage on that one? I'm not. Feels like I'm only doing damage to the ones that like Alfino and Ali say fight. It kind of varies. Some of the mechanics, some are just mow through. Yeah. Some you have to do things, and others you don't. But like trial and error, right? Like if you lose, you lose. Whatever. Wait, this guy too? Pepperlina, go ahead. Oh, I don't. I don't want to leave y'all though. I don't want to leave y'all though! I'm not comfortable leaving y'all! Alright. Are you both ranged? You are both ranged. Okay. See, and they like die so fast and I'm like, do I even bother using some of my abilities? Okay. <laughs> Alright. God, this is so pretty. The powder looks like petals. Like, look at that. I'm obsessed. Ooh. The color scheme of all of this? Oh my god. 
Oi, oi. Can we turn on enemy gameplay so you can see which are attackable? It's fine. It's not the end of the world. If it becomes an issue, then I will. My problem is if I see too many names, I like panic and I get overwhelmed and overstimulated. I know everything is just purple. <laughs> Wait, did we find her? Was that her? <laughs> what was? Thank you. Are you from the Crystarium? Correct. We've come to rescue you. He's so small. Your weapons, made to the same specifications as Thancred's. Be ready to use them. Understood. Please lead the way. Alrighty. But not done just yet. Okay, we've rescued Minfilia, now we have to escape. Do we just go the other way? Let's join the others and quit this place. Yee. Alright, some shit's gonna happen here. All this trouble because of me. I'm so sorry. No! Save your apologies until after we've escaped. Oh wait, do we not go to there? Do we go this way? Am I going this way? No, I just have to wait for Lena. <laughs> Lena has to lead us. It's quiet, too quiet. I know, I know, something is not right. Is that Ranjit? This will not end well. Oh no, is he gonna take my babies? Oh no, what is that? Is that a serpent? Do you have to fight him now? What, scene? It's a court scene, babe. See? Hmm. Brazen thieves. Dude, why is he hot? Oh, you will regret coming here. Oh, <gasps> What is that, like, serpent dragon snake thing? The hail? Outnumbered, but I can only assume we're not gonna be a problem for him. Pathetic, bro, chill. Wait, Minfilia is down? Well, I mean, she is baby. He's just aggroing Lena, so I guess it doesn't matter where I stand. There, while I tend to these burnouts. Excuse me? He scares them reckoning. I know, we are outmatched. She, we're not doing any damage to him. There is literally four of us, and it's not enough. And a snake! And a literal snake! Be gone. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, girl. Oh no. Oh, I'm next. Now she's using me. What the fuck? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why is this me now? Oi, 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 Um, um, my HP. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Am I supposed to die here? I feel like I'm supposed to die here. I feel like I'm not gonna beat him. Am I meant to beat him? Ah! Nothing. Do my bidding, Goku Mots. Goku Mots, do my bidding. Is that his dragon fella? Where'd he go? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, why is it over there? What is, oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm doing like one HP to this man. It's 
seems you are no ordinary soldier. Look who's talking. I'm doing like nothing to you, bro. Oh my god, what does that mean? What does that mean? Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my. My Why do you persist in this folly? You you did not say what your caption said. You said why do you persist in this folly? And then you said you're you are persistent that I will allow. Hello, translation error. Measure? My measure? Are you measuring me? You got my measurements? Oh no, what's he gonna do to me? Oh no. Down for the count. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Now I actually can't move. I'm regenerating health though. That's uh, that's good. Um. Um. Oh. Well. 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 I guess you could say I fall lead down to my knees. <laughs> He's kind of cute. You boy, you bear a striking resemblance to the artist my master seeks. Um, no. You know. means keep your counsel. You will all have ample time to confess your crimes back in you. Oh, is he fucking capturing all of us then? Pancred? Ah! What the foot? What the foot? He shaved. He shaved. <sighs> He oh my god, he's beautiful Thank again! God. Oh, amazing. So, Thought Kurt is you back. are the wretch who stole her from us. And what if I am? Was that his foot again? <laughs> what? Pathetic. This guy is so mean. Vermin such as you are not worthy of the Oracle. What's he gonna do? Oh. Oh? Do a TP? Can do a dramatic look back. I oh, don't know. Yeah, just letting us escape. Go, Minfilia, go! Oh, he's angry. Oh, no. Is he gonna not to run up? Oh! Holding him in place? Oh shit. Fool! You would see your city raised. I would sooner see it raised than conquered. Suffice it to say, we are ready to receive you. What now, Exarch? Will you face me yourself? I think not, General. I've quite exhausted my tricks. 
If you mean to give chase, I will not stand in your way. But you would do well to tread warily, for your quarry goes to a place where even Yulmore dare not bear its steel. Ilmeg, the fairy kingdom. <gasps> the fays! Wait, that's where we're going? Wait, why wouldn't they go there? What's the tea? What are the haps? <sighs> it's, is that ball gag man? That mountain of the rat! Has the energy to unleash his hounds. The rat! Even the most pointless of conflicts may alter a world's course. And now the plan has gone awry. Wait, why is he here? Or how did he get here? But how? How did the so-called Crystal Exarch bring the hero of the Source to the First? As if I didn't have enough on my hands already. What do you intend to do? <sighs> then again, with a soul such as that, Mayhap there is another way. One which does not require bloodshed. Does he want to kill the Exarch? Sir? Wait, another way with a soul. What are you going to do? Suck his body up? Or suck his soul up? Swap it with... Wait, what are you... Asians, man. <laughs> not so long ago, here in the shadow of the Northern Ranges, lay the great kingdom of Verbert. It's so green! A nation with a proud history. It's so green! That the Sin Eaters cut short. Just like all the rest. Since that time, these lands have become a haven for fey folk. Dreamers frolicking amidst the ruins of a forgotten realm. Oh, he's talking about me? Me? Oh, girl. He wants to suck me? We should be safe enough here. Oh, this music. It's good to see you again, my friends. I don't know about you, but it feels like years since last we met. Five of them in my case. Why, it only feels like one to me, but long enough to warrant a more convivial reunion either way. <laughs> what brought you to Laxon Loft? The baby. The girl, Minfilia. She and I were traveling together, hunting Sin Eaters. But as we were nearing Lakeland, she abruptly ran off on her own. I found her too late to stop the Ulmorans from taking her prisoner. And as I was considering rescue options, I observed that the Crystarium was on the move. So I consulted the Exarch, who apprised me of the details of the operation and issued me certain instructions. Should the situation take a turn for the worse, I was to see you all safely to Ilmeg. And here we are. Well, thank you. Orianger has called this place home for a while now. Yet we have never called upon him, I am ashamed to say. It was only at the Crystarium that we met. Hardly surprising. This is not the sort of place one visits on a whim. Are you gonna see Orange Man? Where's Shakespeare? Happily, having trespassed on Orianger's hospitality for a spell, Minfilia and I have an idea of how things work around here. Sooner or later, the Ulmorans will come after us. But before they do, the Exarch bids us accomplish two things. First, rendezvous with Orianger. Shakespeare. And second, eliminate the Light Warden of this land. So, 
Minfilia. Oh. What made you leave Thancred behind, if you don't mind me asking? They said that the Sin Eater is like, will randomly like- You. The hero from another world. It was me she was talking about. I was asleep when I felt it. A presence. Someone I was meant to meet. They were close and... And I knew I had to go to them. But with all the commotion in Lakeland, I was afraid that Thancred wouldn't let me. And would I have been wrong? Had I arrived a moment later, you would be back in your cell in Yulmore. And now we have Ranjit snapping at our heels. You really have outdone yourself this time. Daddy? Chill. Oh. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. Dad cred. Oh, poor thing being scolded so. Oh, it's the Fae. I don't remember their name. The or is it the orange one, or do they all sound the same? Poor thing. Poor, poor thing. <laughs> Who said that? Show yourselves. Come now, put away that frown and have some fun with us. Yes, let us have some fun. Lots and lots. Let us have some fun. <laughs> Which way was it to Uriange's? We've been there so many times, but I'm not. I can't. Did they both just oh, not remember? Why can't I remember? Faye's doing? Are they doing this? Damn it all. We're already caught in their spell. Great. Oh, these laughing. The like the laughter. I absolutely hate it. Hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Alright. Il Meg is the fairy kingdom, and as one might expect, it is home to the Fae Folk. The most prominent um, the most prominent among them are the Pixies, who have a penchant for making mischief. They use powerful illusions to play tricks on all who venture into their domain. By way of example. Ooh, my audio just shot itself. They can make a familiar path seem wholly unfamiliar, or lead you to believe you're somewhere you're not. And we are now, I'm sorry to say, entirely at their mercy. Oh, I hate it. I don't like the sound of that. Thancred is trying to think his way out of the present predicament. As it stands, we cannot hope to find the way to Uriange. For that, we must convince the pixies to lift the spell. Ugh. From what I can make of the voices, the creatures want to play with us. If that is the case, they should permit us to find their village. Lita, Lita Loran? Come, I have a sneaking suspicion this path will lead us directly into their midst. Oh, and I should mention that Minfilia has been informed of our situation, of the different worlds in our mission. You may consider her an ally. Sounds good. Alright, little Minf. Little Minfi. This place is so fucking bright. One of the Fae has Papalima's voice actor and that delights me. Oh, I love that. This place is literally so bright. I feel like I need to be wearing fucking sunglasses. Oh my god, they're literally just flower baskets. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, can y'all hear my audio bugging out too? Oh. It's so, it's like, it's like too bright. Oh, a quest. Oh no, that's like a chocobo thingy. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, there's an ether right over there. Ooh. Can I like... Can I like not? Can I like not be in a super bright place anymore? In my dark ass room? It's good now? Okay, good. Perfect. No, oh, yeah, it's mine. Sorry. 
Well, here we are. Yet the pixies are nowhere to be seen. Knowing them, their games have already begun. In which case? Pepper. There's a variety of plant native to these parts with a distinctive furl, distinctive furl tip. Looking grass is its name. So called because it can be used to spy pixies, believe it or not. I'll explain how I know all of this later. But first, I need you to help me find some. <sighs> oh, if a voice calls to you, under no circumstance should you respond. You will only subject yourself to further mischief. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm going flower picking. Alrighty, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it down here? Oh, I'm like riding the wall. Is it by chance over there? Nope. Is it in here? Nope. <gasps> I found it. I hope. Presumably. Look at y'all's wings! You search the scrub and find nothing resembling looking grass. Suddenly, a voice rings out. Hee <laughs> hee. Greetings, mortal. What is your name? I'm not gonna listen. Oh, you don't have a name? How very, very sad. I could have had so much fun with it. <laughs> am I am I gonna have to tell them my name or can I can I can I keep looking? <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to subject myself to more mimstim. You search the scrub but find nothing resembling looking glass. Suddenly, a voice rings out. Uh, what is it that you seek, child? Perhaps I can help you find it. Such a rude child and too clever by half. I shall seek my fun elsewhere. I feel like I have to talk to them. I feel like I have no choice. I don't know why. I feel like I'm not choosing the right option. Not that there is a right option. <laughs> or maybe there is. I don't know. Ah, yes. I know the plant. And being the kindly pixie that I am, I shall take you to it. Just close your eyes and focus on my voice. Set your mind adrift and together we shall go to the ends of the realm. Your body begins to feel heavy. Oh. Well. Well! Maybe I should have listened to Thancred. <laughs> Maybe there was some merit to what he was saying. Um, oh, up there maybe? I'm gonna have to take a break, chat. It's 11.20 and I'm feeling so tired. I don't wanna end the stream, but I'm like, I'm calling it a night. I just keep you good night. Good night, Jin. Are you planning on playing Dark Knight for the whole X-Pack or are you uh, gonna also have enough cost to play it once you hit 90? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. For now, I'm just gonna keep playing Dark Knight. Um, and Endwalker, I may play Reaper. Who knows? You find what appears to be looking grass. Suddenly, a voice rings out. Oh, visitor, where are you from, pray tell? I'm not gonna say anything. Hmm, perhaps this one's hard of hearing. Ahem, what brings you here? <laughs> ah, stone deaf. How boring. Still, picking plants at our village is a, as good as indulging in our hospitality. And who are we to turn you away? Hee <laughs> hee. Stay a while. Stay forever. Your body begins to feel heavy. Are you fucking kidding? God damn it. I hate it here. Ugh. 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 The devs said that they wanted to make the vibes the first to be oppressive. Like the light ether is literally pushing you down. I think they nailed that aspect. Um, specifically with here. Oh. Yeah. I could see you running around with a heavy debuff like you spoke to them, didn't you? Literally just shaking his head like, ugh. <laughs> I take it you met with some trouble. Apologies for subjecting you to that. Can I assume your presence? From your presence, if you manage to find us some looking grass, I believe so. Oh, it's kind of cute. It looks like a little magnifying glass. Lovely glasses, thank you, Kenley. Yes, this is the stuff. Thus armed, we should be able to see through the pixie's veil of invisibility. And seeing them is the first step to dealing with them. Come on, let's gather, or come, let's gather everyone and put Uri Andre's little trick to good use. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so sleepy. All right, let's see how this goes. Sparkle, sparkle. 
sporkle, sporkle, oh, sporkle, sporkle. <coughs> Frasitha, Krakleth. Hey, yo, you speak their language? <coughs> so are these like the Mughals of, um, of the first? Not literally, I just mean in terms of like chaoticness. Oh, this mortal know our trick? Wait, <sighs> I recognize their souls. These two have been here before. <clears throat> look, look, twins! How adorable! <laughs> they like the slips? The slips? The slips? You mean the slips? I forgot about that. We have neither guys. the time nor inclination to play. Completely forgot about We have come to I see thought you were Orianda. going to bed! I thought you were going to bed. Hi, Thancred's oh, wife. Yes. Look, your, your husband's right here. Peculiar one. In return for a place in El Meg, he agreed to a riddle contest with us for seven days and seven nights without any sleep. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. We must do it again. That one's probably I'm sure he'd be delighted. Iconic. Now, if you'd be so kind as to lift your spell. Shall we? Should we? <laughs> Would we? What now? I don't know, but this is their home, so we must indulge them. We've made up our minds. We will lift our spell on one condition. That you first lend us a helping hand. Or two. Or three. Once oh my god, Waldo! Oh my god! We'll oh my god! You scared me! Oh my god! Well, there you have it. Pixie chores. I suggest we split up. You heard me eating chips and came running? Oh my god, she does sound like Moaning Myrtle. You're so right. Or they, they, they do sound like Moaning... They sound like mo Moaning Myrtle. Morning, mo Moaning Myrtle! Oh, honey, bunny, sugar plum, poopy whoopy, mumpy. Hi, baby. What is it? Oh. Okay. All right, this is a good time to pause. I think Waldo has to go poop. Do you have to go poop? Do you have to poop? You wanna go poop? Is it poopy time? <coughs> Oi. No barking. What? All right. I know it's no flop in the baby. In the baby, come here. Come here. <laughs> you being stubborn. All right. I'm going to be back. I'm going to take the boy to poopy poop. I dropped my controller. I'm going to take him to poopy and pee pee. And then I'm going to sit on my couch for a little bit. So I should be back in the next like 15 minutes or something. Um, I need to like make a coffee or something because I am I'm getting tired but I want to keep playing um so like I'll, de I'll determine how I feel like when I come back inside um but yeah chat be on your best behavior I'm gonna head out bye CJ thank you for hanging by me you sleep for work oh yeah it is Sunday oh I took it all off okay perfect all right be back see you in a second
Okay. I'm back. I'm back. And I am so tired. That hair? I oh, know. I oh, know. <laughs> Hello. I'm so tired. I don't want to be. I don't want to end stream. But I'm hitting that point of exhaustion where, like, I'm not going to be able to follow the story. Um, or even be entertaining. Yes, Waldo enjoyed his little walkie. He was barking at a car. Someone's, like, lights were going off. And so he just kept barking at it. But he had a poopy. He had a peepee. -pee, he had his treat. Now he's happy. Um, but yes. I'm going to be ending the stream here, unfortunately. I am very, very, very sleepy. I want to keep playing, but I know that I should not. I know that it's not a good idea to. Um, I do have my dailies to wrap up, so I think I will do those and then crawl into bed while it's still only midnight. Um, I'm not doing those on stream because, again, I'm, I'm, I'm too tired to entertain and stuff, and that's not fun content. But... I will see you all tomorrow evening for more MSQ shenanigans. Do not worry. I'll be back. Okay? Okay? Do not fear. We are going to go say hello to Sarah. Sarah Key is currently playing... What is it? Fire Emblem? I've never played Fire Emblem, but I've heard that the games are really, really good. She's very, very sweet. I haven't seen her live in a while, and this is her first playthrough, so that's really exciting. So if you're into Fire Emblem Three Houses, then her stream will be for you. I will see you all again, like I said, tomorrow. Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me on social media. That way you can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans and get updates on, or get notified on when I go live. That's about it. That's all. We don't have a raid message, so spam pop cats or something. I don't know. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye.